We're live. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm waking up at the start of the end of the world, but it's feeling just like every other morning before. And now I wonder what my life is gonna mean if it's gone. Because I'm moving like a half a mile an hour And I started staring at the passengers Or waving goodbye Can you tell me what was ever really special about me All this time But I believe the world is burning to the ground Oh well, I guess we're gonna find out Let's see how far we go Oh yeah, let's see how far we go That's it Um... <laughs> That was not the song I expected. I don't know yeah. why you thought it, we would guess that. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't think you guys would guess it. Honestly, them. if you want to get me on board, any <laughs> Rob Thomas song is going to get me on board. Any, anything Matchbox 20, I am yeah. in. Yeah. Um, sorry about the mic. Um, yeah. But that's why we do this, is so we test the mic. So really, I'm doing this to help you, Dan. Um, but welcome, everybody, back to Bards of New York, the actual play D&D podcast where sometimes we actually play... Guns of the Dragons. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Drew did not like. <laughs> um, I'll quiet down, I guess. Um, but that being said, we are going to jump back into our campaign. What is this verse? Is this verse four? Yes. Verse four of the Ballad of the Nightmare Crew. Um, but before we jump into that, we do have. Who farted? Dan, did you fart? It was not me. Did you poopy your pants? Who else would it be? I don't know, Hannah. You can, maybe you can drop some stinkers. Me. Maybe it was Ava. <laughs> oh, Ava. It might have been Ava. Ava, did you oh, drop a stinker? She, she, she does have a couple stinkers every once in a while. <laughs> She's sitting over there in the blue and looking real cute. Oh, yeah. Just the camera. Okay, well, dog farts aside, um, we do a few, uh, as always, we have a few announcements we got to go over before we get started on the session here proper. Um, before we do that, though, Dan, this is for you. Um, I don't even have my headphones. I know, but that's for later. And everybody's listening at home. Um, rule of, uh, two first announcements. Uh, you may have noticed we are missing two uh, mostly British gentlemen. Mostly British. Um, I think that accurately describes them. What, so what percentage of British are they versus yeah. other? Um, John's, I th- John's a little bit more uh, Massachusetts. Yeah, John has, <laughs> John's more like 40-60 and Will's 60-40. Okay. Like British mass, you know? I would like to see them debate that with each other. I don't think they would. Uh, I, 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 I don't think they would. John, John's, John's, like, voice in general, he said, is less British than Will's is. I'd I mean, say, like, you can clearly hear it. Will yeah. is not, Will is, like, 85 or like 80 20 and John's more like uh, 60 40. Yeah, I would agree with that. <clears throat> um no, no, they're just white dudes to me. <laughs> I'll a bunch of sour cream here on top of this taco salad. Um <laughs> So, uh, they're both gone. Will is still in Oregon uh, hunting the uh, uh, the wizards or the ghosts of Wizard Isle over in Oregon. That's a real cryptid over there. But if you're actually wondering what Will's actually doing over in Oregon, he is part of the Oregon Cabaret Theater, a regional theater out there, doing a production of Poirot. The, 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 Something else. Poirot. Poirot, uh, and it's one of the murder, murder, murder mysteries, the Poirot murder mystery Please. out there. Please. What? Educate yourself. I just Agatha forget. Christie. I, I follow them on Instagram. I see all this stuff. It's an Agatha Christie play, but it's not play. They they took a book and made it into a play. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a play. Oh, it's so it's music. a play. It's I know, my it feels spook- very Halloween. It's my it's my spooky Halloween music. Weenie. I think it's, like, uh, I think it's either the murder of Roger Ackroyd. Or Wait, yeah. something yeah. like that. Yeah. He's he's a, he's killing it killing it in a play over in Oregon. And John uh, John's not here because he is um, working for the New York City Rat Czar, hunting down all the rats. It's a weird. It pays well apparently, and so he's like, "Hey guys, I gotta take the night off." And um, he's down in the sewers of Manhattan. And I assume he'll never be the same once he comes out. It's like, I wouldn't. <laughs> what's his name? It's like Mike Rowe with dirty jobs. Yeah, but this is like a dirty job where you where you murder rats. It's like that movie that Adam Driver was in where he hunts dinosaurs, but it's rats in the, the subway. The one of the 24, whatever that was. What yeah, yeah, 64. I don't know. 65. What is 65? interesting? Never. Who <laughs> yeah, let that go through? I'm surprised he did it. That's such a fun <laughs> Hey, hey, you know what? That, that paycheck probably paid for... 
Sounds his like your house. mic is off, is what the chat says, or the gain is really low. Dan, your My mic is off. off. Thanks, chat. Did you turn it on and off? Are you muted? Other announcements while Dan adjusts audio is we're back to my merch corner. And merch today corner. in Hannah's merch corner, we have the friend of the show mug. Uh, if you've been with us for a good long time, you'll know that it was probably one of our first bits. Uh, Can you hear me now? We have many friends of the show, including you, and if you would like to be a friend of the show, we have uh, stickers, magnets, and cups that you can get in our merch store, along with a lot of other really cool merch, and we will be That's updating that merch um, in the weeks to come as we get our pants on with our new studio. I'm not wearing pants. I know you're not. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately. Um, the other announcement is YouTube. Do you want to do YouTube? Uh... Yes, <laughs> as always, we're trying to we're trying to stroke our YouTube. Um, oh, uh, and me and my tube and, and bumping that. Uh -huh. um, so if you haven't, please like and subscribe on there. Um, and if you, we we love it when you guys uh, share us. But next time you share us with your friends, maybe consider sending like a YouTube link or we're we're essentially we're really trying to buff that up. So um, there's that. And then uh, around the corner is uh, Audible trial. Thingy. So Audible is an amazing audiobook uh, company that we all, or a few of us, use quite often. Um, I am still on the final book of the, the Wheel of Time series. It's like over a day's length. Um, and yeah, so go to uh, www.audibletrial.com slash bards to get a um, one month free trial. Um, you also get a uh, one book for free. Uh, so you can do that. Um, and if you like it, you can keep going. If you don't, you can cancel it. But it really helps us out. Um, and yeah. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, oh, it's September. So uh, subscriptions on Twitch are discounted for the rest of this week. And then September's over. Yeah. So um, if you feel like supporting us, that would go a long way. All of your support goes directly back into the stream. And as you can see, Dan is futzing with our mics because we got some new shotgun mics instead of having to always be on mic all the time slash for will uh, never be on mic ever. Um, so any subscriptions, donations, tips, whatever. Hey, hey, he's a professional. <laughs> Sometimes I question it when he's not on mic during these streams. Um, any uh, monetary donations go directly back into the stream to help improve the quality and improve your ear hole experience. Hey, yo. Yo, boy. <laughs> Yoink. Um, other than that, do you have any other announcements, hermano? Hello. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was reading Thormars. You can't subscribe to anyone tonight. Beth Jezos, he's doing some sneaky shit. Let's find out. I don't know. Um, I don't believe any announcements on my end, um, other than uh, for my players, I just want to touch back on those rules that we talked about so long ago, um, and it's uh, always uh, like buy-in. Um, be a fan of your characters, be a fan of the story, and be a fan of each other's characters. Um, and what that means, I think, is just try to find what's that, the actor's tattoo secret of um, always find, like, it's always through your other, you know what I mean? And you go, like, you always find your uh, goal through the other person. So I guess that's what uh, I'll start with. But also have fun, enjoy yourselves, go on an adventure, and be a fan of the story and each other's characters. And, your, and most importantly, your own character. Um, and make fun of me all you fucking want. Shit on Woody Break. Thank you very much yep. for that. Uh, in the chat, Winter Cameron, who I know has made their way over from YouTube. Hi. Hello, um, um, It is our first sponsorship. Baby's first sponsorship. We're so. still trying to get sponsored by Oreos. If uh, if you're listening to this, we love you and, and need you. Oreos, LaCroix, Topo Chico. Oh, I would die. If Anything, really. Sponsored us. And the tequila. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's belong. Any tequila. Like, I mean, <laughs> Jose Cuervo. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I guess we have the connect there. Yeah. <laughs> um, Talk to the mommy and daddy. Well, then without further ado, 
it's time for an RP warm-up question. If you're new here or you haven't been here in a while, we do an RP warm-up question so that Dan can test our mic level so he can just play a lion who has a daughter who knows more about sex than he does. Um, when we answer this question, we answer it for our characters. And if you in the chat or you who are listening want to answer it for yourself or for your characters, please do so. We love hearing about them. We love uh, learning about what your little brain children think and feel and what's going on in their lives. So, we will start with Drew and work our way around this way. The RP warm-up question for the day is, what remains undone that you've wanted to get done in years, or four years? Um, for Ryujin, I truly, it's his one and only goal is to find out more about his family um, and where, what his origins are and what that means to him and where his parents went and why he was left behind. Like that's his whole, his whole goal and that's, that remains undone to this day. So I think that's the move there. Mm-hmm. I'm just taking a real back seat. Yeah. Do you that's think okay. the <laughs> whole real focus. when we learned about the curse of the Valtimaris, do you think that's like sparked anything? With oh, absolutely. Name? Yeah, he wants to figure out where that came from, what that means, mm-hmm. um, and what that, how that would change his life, you know, mm-hmm. later later on. So, absolutely, w- whatever that curse may be. The curse know. is dementia. Oh, but, Jesus. That means he forgets everyone. This is a fantasy world. What do you think plays to escape? <laughs> Show that on onion. Uh, oh, the knife? I don't think it can be on on stream. Let's just. I, didn't let's mean, just I was, just, I was just cleaning my glasses. <laughs> I promised Twitch. I was just cleaning my glasses. All right. Uh, what's and that? What's that vine? <laughs> a knife. A knife. No. Uh, Fim Fam or Ember or whoever you want to answer for the, uh, the three it, characters who live in your head. Yes. Um, today is going to be Fim Fam, so that I can and get back into that mindset. So. For Fim Fam, uh, when he was a little kid, he found a uh, a small cosp of of trees that that opened up into a, a little plinth, mm-hmm. and on top of that was uh, scattered jigsaw pieces, um, and he ha- he started doing it and then had to go, and then when he came back, it wasn't there. Um, so over his uh, many, many years, um, un- unknowable amount of years, um, he has ever so often run into a uh, jigsaw puzzle, um, the same one, and, and is constantly trying to finish it. But he, he can't look for it. it has to, he has to take the opportunity when it comes. Um, it's usually in the fate one. It feels like Sisyphus, the way you've described that. Yeah, but just a puzzle. But a puzzle, yeah. which would be some people's hell. Like, it, there, there's progress, um, but it's, it's it's not near completion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Same. Nice. Good. All good on the mic stand? <laughs> if you were near completion right now, I would be very upset with you. <laughs> Gross. Guns always loaded, baby. Um, okay, James Oscar. Uh, sometimes it just got all short. Uh, um, <clears throat> for written hash, um, uh, probably it sounds rather vain, but when you're the the third born of a, a, a noble family and you wish to make a name for yourself. You aren't, you aren't the steward, you are uh, the best in knight, and you have to make your own name for yourself. And having been the, one of the younger siblings of uh, the Nestleton written hasks, I had, went out and joined the guild, and I kind of want to go back home and show my family, my brother, my sister, and my parents, what I've done with myself. and who I've done it with. That's what I would like to do. Not necessarily to gloat. It's a little bit of gloating, but like a proud gloat. Yeah. Nice. What about you, Lilith? La la, la la, la la, la la, la la. Lilith is um, 
she, other than uh, finding Ember's soul and body and um, uh, destroying the Sage of Revan with her own two hands, the other thing that she's wanted to do for years has been to go and see every major city in the world uh, because she has never seen any except for during her adventures with the Nightmare Crew because she's been kept in Revan her whole life and so she's heard about all these cities but has never been able to go to them and experience them and after um, all the buffoonery she got up to in Revan when she'd go and sneak out um, she realised that uh, you can read about a city but it's different to experience it and to be there boots on the ground and like <laughs> and to see what's going on. Boots on the um, ground. So that is something going dark. Um, after all the problems have been solved, that she would like to do. Uh, but first, she needs to f find her love's soul and body, and then kill her nemesis, and solve the Elendil problem. Yeah. Hey, hey, that can be wrapped up on a weekend. <laughs> Again. A long like, weekend. I feel like Vecna is also the, a big problem. Yeah. <laughs> True. I don't know if we're getting Ember's body back. Um, I don't know if he wants it back. I don't know if he wants it back. <laughs> How are we doing with sound? I think he's going to be like, I mean, I got fucking shots. There's a very, very high pitch that I can't figure out what it is. Is it because the door is closed all the way on the cord? Do you think it might be the fan? Yeah, or it's not. Recorded. Stand by for sound. While we're doing this, stand by for sound. Um, Winter Cameron in the chat has asked for um, an update on character descriptions, especially Dan for Leonidas, because of the transmorgifications that have been happening. Mm -hmm. It was in here last Thank week. Thank you. Um, it, was, mm -hmm. it was right here. I mean the the biosynth aug augmentations from the core tree. Is that what it was? Yeah. Okay, well, do you want to explain that first while they're doing that? And then yeah, give, um, um, well, I'll give, uh, let's give, uh, I'll give Rin Hasks. Well, okay. no, I'll explain that first. You're right. Uh, Dan's character, as he works on sound, uh, for those who uh, haven't caught up, when they're in Mobio, he made uh, some flesh augmentations with this magical crystalline kind of, uh, what's the word, uh, petrified wood in a way that was um, infused with magic that uh, he can have three modes to do it. He can either make his arms uh, freakishly long um, so he has a reach of 10 feet um, in like game stuff, but it's like they're like, like his limbs grow longer, like little pieces of like wood come out of them, like almost like they're parts of the muscle. Um, or he could also have it give him a swim speed or a climb speed. I forget which is the other one. And then also he could like make it be like wooden armor on him if he wanted to. This is Leonidas. That's Leonidas, correct. Um, that's the 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 um, biosynth augmentations that he went through in Mobio. Did you come up with that word, or did you find that word? I kind of came up with it, basically. That's cool. Word. That's yeah. what I asked. Um, word? Biosynth augmentations. Yeah. Um, Can you spell that? B I O S Y N T H space augmentation. Well, this is great because Dan still tested sound. Um, has Drew's look changed at all? Winter Cameron in the chat would like to know so they can make fan art of their own since the. Oh, beginning. of Region? Region, yeah. Did I say Drew? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> have you changed at all? <laughs> have you changed over the last few I stopped wearing years? a hat every day. Um, region doesn't look much. Is he. What does he look like? Oh, he's not wearing that hat anymore. Probably for the best. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, not really. Oh, the cowboy hat? Still, yeah. still uh, has he needs the gun a new show hat. out. Yeah, the gun shows are out. Um, I don't, he was wearing, oh, he was wearing a poncho at one point. Yeah, you were very like Western Desperado vibe. No, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Region's got more buff, obviously. <laughs> yeah, he's been working out every day, of course. Yeah. But other than that, not not a big change. No. Really, really so packing in his, those. His dreads have grown a little longer because he hasn't had a. He's not cut them. But he's not going to. Yeah. But they still look great because oh, it's course. fantasy. Yeah, it's fantasy. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Oh, we, we, oh we he have... knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unlike me. In if, real life. if we need to go to a barber, I guess I can set that up, but. 
We don't. Yeah, I don't think we're we do. Fine. That's a, that'd be a weird. That's why his hair is in dry. If we have yeah. a barber episode, episode. Someone not showing up. <laughs> Someone. Oh, oh, Winter asks, is the puppy from season one still alive in the bag of holding? Mm. Oh my god. So the puppy no, from puppy is not a puppy anymore. The puppy was um, a wolf actually, <laughs> and it is with uh, Halifax currently. True way to deal with the devil. Well, not the devil. Not the devil. My God. Your God. Sorry, it's an awesome God. <laughs> the one the devil makes deals with. He reigns from heaven above with will. All right. Um, Kyle, do you want to give an update on probably Ember is what they're asking about, but you could also do Fin Fam if you'd like. Fin Fam hasn't changed. Um, but yeah, I I don't even think I've kept track of all the things with Ember. Ember is is no longer a. Uh, panthery looking his fur is no longer black it is white um with only some like little gray uh streaks uh to kind of give like a snow leopard vibe almost um got the like slash on his eye and the eye of vecna of course very very um, anakin-esque yeah okay um and then the hand obviously but he's also a disembodied soul so, um, he could look like what is this? He's kind of nothing, and you know what? We're gonna, we might be shopping for uh, what is November. A, what does a soul look like, anyways? Yeah, also, if he was like, he aged to what, like 40 something? Oh, yeah, oh my god, oh yeah, he's an old man. It, 40 is 40 not, is not old. old, okay. If for, you're 40, you're not old, yeah, okay. Well, um, okay. we, we are too young to be saying the 40s, he's a kitty, old. and we're too close to the age 40 to be. I know, old. I guess so. Oh, 40 is not old, I don't believe I that. apologize, everyone. I was trying to figure out that 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 shit. Uh, I can answer the question. Great. That would be. Uh, what was the question? Um, what what have you not accomplished that you wanted to accomplish for years? Oh, um, definitely um, making amends with my parents. All right, oh. you gotta meet your son. And I gotta meet my son. Lilith looks basically the same. She Don't often she will take off her jacket more so than she used to. She's very attached to the green jacket, but um, she'll take it off more often than in like the first couple seasons. And Woody explained Leonidas for the chat, so I think we're good to go. With your boar, your, um, your, your bio synth augmentations. Oh yeah, he also has a scrape. He also around. Around. The majority of the time he has on a belt that kind of gives him this like shocks of uh, storm gray in his Oh yeah, you're, you're, you're the I storm mean, the giant belt, belt. The belt will make him also just beefy as a boy. Yeah, you, you want some roids. Roids. Yeah, roids is an understatement of what he's on. Um, oh, so. Winter Cameron, uh, Lilith has a tattoo that still looks like the original tattoo, but it's not the tracking tattoo. The anymore. magic has been uh, siphoned out. Yep, it's now different magic. Except you don't remember that now, right? Magics. We will discuss that because I re-listened to the episode today and Lilith saw some things and has questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we're ready for the bean footage, yeah? Roll that beans. Roll that beautiful bean footage, Daniel. <laughs>
Welcome back, everybody. Welcome thank you, back. Raiders. Yeah, thank you. Marky Gaming, so good to see you guys. We missed you. Welcome back home to us. Your mommy and daddy. I am both your mommy and daddy of Dungeons and Dragons. Wow. I don't know if I have to be that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Grip it and rip it, Hannah. Fuck yeah. Um, so, <laughs> my friends. Welcome, Raiders. Everybody, glad that you're here. But... As the camera pans back down to the Nightmare Crew, uh, you guys have been on the Lucid Dream for a uh, number of weeks. Uh, the trip to Brawl takes about three weeks um, in void speed. Um, and for the most part, you've been spending each day cooking, cleaning, exercising, honing weapons, fixing things, chatting. Uh, you had a weird dream one night where you all attempted to kill each other. Yeah, did anything um, And then it kind of ended, and that's really that. How dreams do you typically dreams go? Dead. Yeah, <laughs> you know. well, it's like those dreams where like, you, like, you're like, wow, you, I think I fucking killed you in a dream. But then, you know, it didn't really pan out that way, and then you for, kind of forget about it, and you're, then like you bump into Ryujin later, and you're like, wait, I stabbed you, but it was a dream, you know? You know how you remember dreams? Yeah. Yeah. I've never been able to remember my dreams. That means you typically fully complete them, usually. You sleep well. It, 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 oh, I sleep it. terribly. Well, Even no, it seems that you don't. No, 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 no. It seems no, that no, you no. don't wake up in the midst of your dreams. That's when you remember the last Wake time. up. You were dreaming about Wake me up, up inside! I can't wake up! Yeah, uh, Siri keeps asking if my dreams are okay. Why? So, I think that's something you should leave between you and your therapist, Dan. Ryujin's definitely gonna S wake Siri. up and still punch Rittenhouse for throwing a barrel at him. Uh, Rittenhouse, so that, that morning, he's like, uh, why? <laughs> I just had this memory or something of you throwing a barrel at me. I needed to get did, it. Did I hit you? You you threw a barrel and it broke as it hit my body. He, he kind of sits there, like kind of sits up in bed and goes, "Ooh." Can still feel the mental pain from that. Well, uh, must have been for a good reason. Sure. <laughs> yes. Okay. And kind of like kind of like gives you a little nudge and then gets out of bed, um, puts on his trousers. He sleeps in the buff. Um, We've established that yeah. before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And he has an, if he were to get a tattoo, it would be an ass tattoo of Ryujin's face. That's so oh. stupid. All right. Wait, when did, when did we have this discussion? Wait, during an RP warm up. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we did. Didn't okay. We? Um, but over the weeks, you guys have been traveling through. Now, uh, in these weeks of traveling, I have allowed you guys, in lieu of a level up, because I figured I'm not giving you that, um, you're not going to be level 16 yet. Let's do. Um, we are going to do little upgrades. And so um, over the next couple weeks, you guys have been working on stuff, tinkering with things. I know a few of you have really landed on something. Completely forgot that you sent this to us. Totally fine. I'm sorry. Think about you it. You Come back to me. You didn't until 3 in the morning one night thinking about it. Also, really? hi, Raiders. Hi. Second group of Raiders. Yeah, Raiders. Hey, yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome to here. Bards of New York. It was Marky Gaming ah, and... Tales of Initiative. Tales of Initiative. Hi, friends. Welcome, friends. Welcome, welcome, friends. Nice to have you here. Oh, you have a Tales raid thing? That's cool as fuck. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, but uh, I will look to uh, Ryujin. Uh, what were you upgrading and tinkering with um, over these last couple my God. weeks? <laughs> my, my God! Can you can you describe <laughs> how you improve your gun for us and paint that picture? <laughs> my how God. did that happen? <laughs> yeah, so basically we're returning, so I'll, I'll pick it up. Uh, what is that? Mean, what is that? I'd say this, with um, I think the help of Reknit and his um, shop, you were able to uh, fine tune your weapon, infuse a bit of magic to it, but also give it a bit longer range. And so I believe we talked about it, its range is what, 90? 90, 90, yeah. so it's, but it's now, it's 90, 120. 90, 120. Um, so it has a slightly longer barrel and it's rifled. Cool. Um, so when the bullets come out, the bullets at your gun, um, it does, uh, it's more accurate, basically. So it has a longer range. Um, and also it's now a plus two because of the fine tuning from Reknit. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you wanted to take a feat, I know we kind of oh, talked can, about that. You can take oh. one too. 
I would say have be centered around the gun. How do oh, you yeah. get a feet? Do the sharp shooters. Huh? How do you can't add the feet? They can. Go to like go yeah, to your feet. This is go to your feet. Go to my feats? Okay. Am I learning something about D&D Beyond? And I learned it too. Go to feats and manage feats. You can add whatever fucking feats you, you can want. You can be all feats. You can be all... No, has no, that always has, been there? Yes. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know it either. Yes. Wow. You're not alone. You're it not has alone. always been there. I added a feat because I had one from this draconic ancestry thing. Yeah. And I've had this whole time that I had to add outside. All feats and no boy. Um, so, and then uh, Dan, what have you been working no on boy. over the last two weeks? So, Leonidas... Hold on. Eat, eat your snacks. I was eating a cookie. This is great audio. Thank you. That's why I brought the Michael Way. Um, <coughs> um, 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 Leonidas has been working on. <laughs> he's been working on uh, how to gather himself better for the beginning of battle, and he's been lurking. Worn, well, uh, he's been wait, well, I'm doing. You got to continue. You gotta, you gotta, you're so you're there. I'm here for you. I believe in you. I believe in you. He, Take a breath. He's been working on becoming more alert. <laughs> Don't like that. Can you wink at the camera again? Ooh, that's a great. Ooh. That is a great, great feat. Oh, 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 Kyle, I know. Uh, um, for those of you playing at home, I've taken the alert feat. I might fucking do that as well. I would have an 11 initiative. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instead of having. Anyway, but essentially, uh, um, yeah, it, it, it has allowed me to, to never be very uh, a lot less scared when it comes to people that are trying to uh, jump him or, or scare him really quickly and also be extremely focused at the beginning of battle to be able to um, uh, like get into battle really quickly above table it gave me a plus five in initiative and I'm happy so I won't be fucking last in initiative every fucking time we a healer goes last what did you have before a one well, uh, we did some things, and I got a seven. So now I have a seven. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, do you have anything you'd like to say or been tinkering on? Lilith? Lilith? Lilith, a flower. Um, I think what we talked about, Lilith, um, because she is, she is punished Lilith right now, um, she is spending a lot of time talking with the person in the blade who I've forgotten their name, and I tried to look it up in my notes, and I couldn't remember. Person in the blade. I'd have to look at my notes, too. Yep. Off the top of my head, I don't remember. I'll stand by. I'll get it for you. Yeah, I don't think it was Thaddeus, but that's the only one that comes into my brain. <laughs> Thaddeus. <laughs> I'm sad. The, the, the aspect <laughs> of revolution. <laughs> Thaddeus. I don't mean to, I don't mean to, to railroad, uh, uh, to derail. Or derail what we're talking about, but the name Thaddeus. You like that name. No, Tiberius well, is the name you like. What do you no. have to say about the name Thaddeus? I don't, I only have known one Thaddeus in my life. Uh -huh. If you're watching Thaddeus. Wow, um, but uh, <laughs> that'd be really surprising. That'd be pretty surprising. Um, but uh, I just think it's an intriguing name. It anyway, is unique. Like, I mean, I'm intrigued. I'm glad we took this time. Yeah. Okay, that's what so she's been spending yep. time just having conversations with them, um, okay. and hasn't told anybody that she's been having these conversations. And I think if you will allow it the blade to become awakened instead of dormant. The blade of broken mirrors. Stand by. Okay. If we do, we have to roll on the minor detrimental and minor beneficial table. Let's do it! Delicious. <laughs> I know you love that chaos. I love that He chaos. does love the chaos. I love that for you. Um, I want my boss. Let me do it for you. Okay. Uh, stand by. Lulaf. Lulaf. So, it is the morning uh, of the final, uh, or the big morning of the first day of the final week of travel. That was a bad way to say it. Basically, it's the Monday, you have a week until you reach Brawl. Okay. And it's the morning of that first day of that week. Now, in this, uh, you guys have gotten really used to seeing the, the star lines uh, appear and kind of zhuzh by as your blasting through void space on Blast. Nergron. Flavor blasted. Yeah, you're the flavor blasted void space. Uh, it's early one morning. You guys smell breakfast. Uh, Rin Hask is making some uh, breakfast burritos, and he was hoping the help of Ryujin for just some good seasonings. Um, 
but the, the diced tomatoes and onions, perfectly minced. It all blends together. Um, a, nice, a nice salsa verde um, chili sauce for little, little toppings for the burritos. What's that look? Lilith is watching Rittenhouse cook. He, uh, so watching Rittenhouse cook, he is uh, technically precise. He's like, like, like uh, with a knife, he, uh, skills abound. But when it comes to like throwing th shit into the pot, he leaves that to his wonderful, wonderful uh, chef, Ryujin. His palate is pretty. His, his, uh... I, I grew up in Nashville. The, 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 the most scrumptious thing you could have was literally butter on bread with a bit of honey. Weren't you, weren't you what? a baron? You had I, nothing more than that? I have to tell you, that's, uh, as, a, as a person who hasn't eaten that much in their life, that sounds terrible. Well, I was, it, so I, I'm being dramatic about it, but basically it was very, um, like, oh, I mean, if I could go for one right now, but a full, a full Nestleton breakfast, oh, yes, a bit of baked beans. Oh, a British mm. breakfast. Some, ah, uh, some fried eggs, oh, golly, a nice, a nice swamp sausage. Okay, that sounds... Good luck when you terrible. go and meet the family. Swamp Sausage was my nickname in high school. Swamp Sausage <laughs> is my band name. <laughs> Gross. Um, Fam Fam spent these weeks uh, doing the, um, the One Punch Man, uh, 100, 100 push ups, 100 uh, sit ups, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> And uh, took the toughness feet. Tough feet. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Yo, the tough feet so is I gained, I, So I gained 30, uh, 30 hit points. Oh, nice, sick. So nice, from nice. To that literally, place. that feat is game changer. Yeah. Just like saying, like, oh, well, you're high level. I'm like, I'm going to take it. And it's like 50 extra hit points. And you're like, it's, yeah, it's super good when you're, like, in your mid-teens. <laughs> I am a levels. god. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. Get more hit points. If you do that, hey, I quit. Next time you, you level up. <laughs> next time you level up is another feat. So oh, you're welcome. Oh, sure. don't yes. I know. Yeah. Wait, am I just then? Um, so. <laughs> Did you have to roll for that? I just gave you 30. <sighs> um, nice. Do you guys have breakfast? It's, it's a nice morning. Is there anything you guys wish to do before breakfast ends? Wish to discuss? <clears throat> I'm opening the breakfast table up. Are we agreed then? I know we talked about it a while back, but we're almost to brawl. Are we agreed that we're going after Ember's soul? and not his body. Boy, it's like I've been gone for a while, and I... Did you guys have bad dreams last night? Because you Yeah, I had, a dream. I had a dream, I had a dream where I almost I killed you. I had a great dream. I, I almost so killed well. you, and then I died because of I you. killed you in my dream. Yeah, I remember you killing me. I slept so well. Oh yeah, you weren't there. In my sleep? Of course I'm there. <laughs> no, you weren't. No, you weren't there. Maybe this collective the dream, dream that we, that we had, all had that we are now seems very out. similar right, to you know all the dreams we We're going to wash over this because it seems like it would break continuity. Um, <laughs> what are you saying, <laughs> Lily? <laughs> so we're all agreed then. We want to go and find the soul first because we kind of know where the body is. Well, I we have the body. No. The body's in that demi plane. Streaming. Unless the DM wants to oh. retcon something right yeah. now. Do you no, what's so? His his body is in the demi plane. Um, you know where it is. It's kind of the demi plane is a space. Uh, space between space. You actually know. I'm not going to define the demi plane for you yet because I don't think we did. I know what it is. Uh, you don't. You can find out later. Um, but it's a demi plane created for many a few reasons. And that is where his body's held in 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 limbo. He's not in limbo, but it is um, the demi plane is connected to multiple like planes, so to speak. Right. In like there are there's sliding doors, uh -huh. and two of the main Great doors movie. fixed planes. Uh, fixed planes that enter to this plane is uh, uh, to two separate. I don't want to tell you guys. That's okay, gonna be so it's a little timey wimey wibbly wobbly. It's yeah, well yeah, it's a timey wimey wibbly wobbly. Uh, business, business, business. Is this working? Yay. Um, it's more of um, the demi plane exists here, and there are threads that connect it to other spaces. 
Also, hi Raiders. Hi Raiders. Hi, Quest oh. Junkies UK. Quest Junkies UK. It's so good to Can see I you guys. Can I just say third raid? Can I just yeah. say that the, the, Thank the, you, everyone. the love from our wonderful people that watch us is glorious. We we see it and appreciate it from all of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, guys. I hate. We hope, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we hope your stream went really, really well yeah. and you all won. Um, so basically, the demi plane is connected to multiple planes, but there's you can learn more about it through investigation. That's what I'll say about that. That's. <laughs> we'll play D and D Sorry. at some point. Oh my god. Um, okay, so we're going to for the soul. The question yeah. is now, how do, do we find, find, the, find soul? the soul? Did, did we not look for Hold that up. yet? Did we not use a? Hannah just listened to the episode. We said we'll table this until we, we come, come back. back. Jesus, <laughs> don't we didn't even look for where it was. Well, I think because on, on your little. Screen, like crystal ball, you have three scries a day. Okay, but we can't hold, scry on hold, it though. Hold on. Technically, it's not a physical object. Uh, but uh, yes, above, yes. Above, we yes. Have to above board, wish. above board, we have to cast wish to find it. it yeah, we have wishes, but uh, the wish is under Kalias's control. Kalias is the beast part. Where is Kalias? Uh, that Kalias? is. Uh, I was going to touch on that after breakfast. Okay. That is also a. Uh, we have to consult Kalias. You have, I believe, from what I understand, you have un. We have dose. No, I think you've already used. We have. I think what did we one use left. one to do? I forget. Are you Let's talking about scrying, or are you talking about wishes? We have wishes. We didn't use any of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you have them. So we have two. They are under Callias. Mm -hmm. And I would want to consult Will before we use and them. And we decided we're going to exhaust all non-wish. Options. Options before First. we use the wish. That's what we. I do remember. Are we going to lose those if if Kalias goes somewhere? Are we going to lose those action, uh, those abilities to use those wishes? Uh, it, it is through him, so he has to be physically there to He's use the them. He's the one who drew the card. That, so that's fair. That's there are his yeah. wishes. That's very fair. Um, well, well, come back from Oregon. Come back from Oregon. Yeah. yeah. I wish I hear back. Well, <laughs> that episode will be in November. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that being said. Uh, there are other ways. There are. I mean, we can just we could go pay somebody to cast a wish spell for us. Well, that's true. There might be we, somebody on Brawl who could do that. We have so much money. We do. We have stupid. You guys have stupid money. We have stupid like, it's money. It's crazy. Is it? Yeah, we do. We do. We're rich. You know what they say about rich people? Shouldn't exist. Yeah. But well, we're good people. <laughs> Eat them. We hey, only killed we a few. We found people. our riches. We found our riches, and we killed bad people. Yeah, you, you were tired. We did kill a lot of people. We, we, we did work hard. What do you mean? Yeah. We saved the universe. No, um. <laughs> so you have the right to keep amassing wealth <laughs> while uh, people are going hungry. <laughs> hey, that's your right. You earned it. You said you. I agree. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I just, those people. I just, I just want to say over <laughs> breakfast. You are? I, 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 yeah. I was an orphan too. Yeah. I just want to say, <laughs> I just want to say over breakfast. I think it's great that we are all together and none of us are dead, and that we're gonna go do something. We're not all, we're together. Not all together. That's okay. But, but I understand the sentiment. I get it. Yeah. There's gotta be. Wait. I guess. Kali where's Kalias? Uh, I thought Kalias was just sleeping in. Maybe we should go check on them. Um, uh, so, uh, Recknet, who's sitting there eating a bowl of porridge, um, a little oatmeal, uh, he's like, I, I, I think that a, a, a breakfast burrito would be just a little bit too much for my stomach, so I'll just have a nice cup of porridge. Um, is that your Recknet? Is, it's not is bad. Re is Recknet going to be out because he's got, like, tummy issues the whole time? <laughs> Recknet's got some fucking, he's got the shit. Yes. Um, no, what right. happens when you consume your homemade oils? Don't yeah. we know? Um, <laughs> uh, I, I think I saw Callias going into one of the pods that are growing off of Nergron right now. Okay. Um, Why? Into a, into a pod. So, let's touch on this. Uh, Nergron has been growing two new things. Nice. Um, <laughs> yep. They are... This um, is how we steer the ship. <laughs> Yar. But don't touch the tip. It gets sensitive. <laughs> be careful. It's gonna but, be careful. Careful. It's going to be back, y'all. Yar. Um, 
Nergron's been growing these two pods. They've been growing, growing, growing until they're about the size, about 10 feet wide and about 30 feet in length. Uh, and they are two small uh, jamming dinghies, whatever you want to call them, or spell dinghies. Okay. okay. Spell dinghy jammers. <laughs> we'll come up with a good name. I don't know. Not dinghy, a dinghy, dinghy, dinghy is not helping. Ding, no, that's I, what a small know, boat is. A I know a dinghy is a small boat, but it's not helping. It's when not from the mind the of other gargle words. on these nuts. Yeah. <laughs> from the mind comes, comes the dinghy. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> the, the last bad guy was dinghy jammer. Was gar gargle on gargle on um, jammer dinghy. So. Uh, but these, the um, basically grow these two new dinghies. Um, think of it for us who have watched the wonderful um, TV show Star Wars Rebels. It is the um, Phantom to the Ghost. Gotcha. Correct. But totally understand. Two of them. Watch Star Wars Rebels. Watch Star Wars Rebels. They're like escape pods. Yes, but like maneuverable, small, and maybe even have some combat capabilities. Um, Ooh. Some escape pods do have maneuverability capabilities. Mm -hmm. We should go into that. Yeah. Chat says, I can't wait to see who follows Gargalon in terms of Big Bad. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I've got to think of a good name. Um, I am Deep Throat. <laughs> deep Throat. Deep Throat. Deep Throat. <laughs> what about Hold These? Just like a hold big These Nuts? <laughs> I am what, what if I just say uh, Cock Gobbler? <laughs> no. What if it's really on the nose? Because there needs to be an illusion that you tried to be creative. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Kuno but didn't Ingus. Try, no. D and D. <laughs> Kuno. I am Kuno Ingus, Lord of this realm. Colonel, Colonel Ingus. Colonel Ingus. Colonel Ingus. Colonel Ingus. No, wait till you meet our newest Colonel. Who, he's a he's a hoot already. Um, so what are we doing? <laughs> uh, we're we're going to see Callias. We're so excited. You're going to see Callias. So yes. as you guys head to the the deck of the ship. Um, you see that there are these two large pods growing off the side of the ship. Almost think like, they're like two almost buoys, um, in a sense. And one of them, you see uh, Callias is um, sitting there, and across is a familiar person you've seen with Callias before. Uh, a short gnome, uh, clouded eyes. He has like just the tuft of hair on the sides and perfectly bald on top. Um, and you recognize this to be Orin. Orin Fulcor. Okay. Orin. Um, you see Callias is like sitting like in this almost like recliner seat that's been growing in this dinghy. Um, and you see Orin just kind of looking at him as Callias is like, eyes are closed and he's mumbling, or they are mumbling to themselves. Um, Orin, uh, without looking to you all, senses you and goes, I've, um, I've been with him for, oof, uh, most of the night. Um, he, they, they sleepwalk here and, uh, they called out to me. Uh, what happened to Callias? Um, they absorbed the world eater. Oh! No biggie. Fuck! Um... All right. Do you does he does he have like a, a teacher for these or any, anything like that or a teacher? A teacher. Someone who could teach him how to use the power of the world. Them how to use the power of the world. Sorry, I miss pronouncing. You imagine it's been a while. Okay. Yes. Why, um, why would you think we would know of a teacher? Uh, we assumed that was you. you. Yeah. I thought you said t-shirt. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I mean. You see, Callias, uh, they are shirtless, and their nippies are out. Um, <laughs> could could use a shawl. You can see it's, it's rather chilly could in void use, space. Could use a shawl. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to teach this, but I know someone who does. Uh, I would have to take Callias away for a bit. For how long? Callias? As long as it takes to learn these powers. I mean... I know Callias trusts me, and I just would hope that you perhaps could for a moment as well. I mean, who? That's their decision. That is their decision. Can we speak to them? I don't know. Um, Callias? <laughs> kind of like gives him a Will, shake. Will comes through the window. <laughs> <laughs> it just... <laughs> um, uh, shakes Callias, and Callias does not wake up. Uh, so, 
I am of the belief if it helps him, then go for it. As long as he, they come back. They will. Look at that. Lord Bathriel's playing Destiny 2. Just popped up on my Discord. Hey, Will. Casual as the fans. <laughs> you better, um, you better kind of so Literally, please. I mean, none of us are equipped to help Callias yeah. with this. So it makes the most sense, honestly. As long as you swear on your life that Callias will come back. You see uh, Oren with... Uh, kind of like Orin, when, he, when Orin looks at you, he doesn't like look at you. He kind of looks towards you. Oh, like um, people who are bad at public speaking. No, no, he's blind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't let me finish. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I knew he was blind. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> Well, folks, oh, uh, this just in, in, Lilith is ableist. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Lilith's just sitting there like, look at me. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Look me in the uh, eyes. <laughs> he's got the, the, the joke. Uh, for those at home don't know, Oren's an old college character I played, and he's got cloudy eyes, so we, we joked and said he has glockinoma. <laughs> Glockonoma. Oh, yeah. Um, cancel Lilith. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh, like shit. a person who's bad at public speaking. <laughs> oh, because he's blind. <laughs> uh, like, that was just, it was so perfect. Please, somebody clip that. Um, I mean, that was true, like, sibling banter, oh. too. Oh, <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, D&D. D&D. Okay, back to D&D. Um, now, my one... Worry. Sorry, uh, Reagent, continue. If you take Callias and, you know, you, you just appeared, we really don't know who you are, what you stand for, what you do. Yes, of um, course. So, yeah. <laughs> totally, I get it. Fair. Some kind of collateral. <laughs> oh, That's fuck. Um, Equivalent exchange. Kind of like, you see him, he's not, has a, like, a bag on him, like, he has like a very like loose rope. Like, um, oh. like he's like ah, ooh, and he reaches into his sleeve and pulls out this little um, object. Uh, it's like a little kind of diamondy prism looking thing, uh, and he kind of like this is a, oof, a special object. Uh, it can give you glimpses of the future. I love it. I'd like it back. Um, Can you cast Wish? I'd seem very forward. I mean, I, I, they seem like they're leaving, so... That's you know, fine. not currently. What you could? What the fuck that mean? I have, I have to go to my home and look at my spell books. Look. Okay, read, all right, all right. Read okay. my spell books. They're all in Braille. Um, Y'all. So, <laughs> I feel like that's nothing bad. I just don't know. I just off the top of my head, I, I can't cast it now. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's 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 circle back here a little bit. <clears throat> You're telling me that I can look in that sphere and just know what happens to all of us? Uh, sort of. It's it's um, it's uh, a portent stone. A who? A portent stone is uh. Are you? It's an object of my making, um, and you can gaze into it, and it can give you a, a quick glimpse of the future every day. Um, Do we know? Can you what, decide yeah. what future you see? That was my question. Uh, kind of. Uh, you see an outcome, and you can uh, adjust that outcome accordingly. What this is, you guys can have a once a day one usage of portent. Oh, is it an? I the divination it. wizard ability portent. Oh fuck. Okay. Yeah. My favorite ability in all down? of D and D. Like you have two, you have two rolls that you roll at the beginning of the day. Oh, that. And like you're you're saying we have that, right? Let's What's, say if it was like a seventeen and a five. Right. Once a day, you can be like, that rolls a five. And can, Woods. Yeah. Can anyone? That's what you're talking about, right? With the dice. Yeah. And any one of us can use that. Um, I would say whoever is in possession of it. Um can use it, but it 
but like also it's anything you can see. Yeah, so, so if somebody, like, if we're talking about Baldur's Gate, the way that it works there, because I am running a divination wizard oh, person, oh. um, if, if you can see another person who's going to, like, miss a shot, you can use one of your portent dice on oh, them. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it basically gives them a little boost. Time to take or, a shot. Or if it's like, oh, no, the big, bad, evil paladin just rolled a natural 20 on a smite, you can be like, ah, he rolled a two. He rolled a two. And, like, that's it. Yep. yep. There's no counter. It's it's like it's the um it's the no but of D and D. It's the no. No reverse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's the one time it's not yes and it's the no but. Mm. Okay. Cool. Um. Okay. Cool. Nope. Um. So that I made that myself. I, I call that a I don't know a, a gesture of uh, goodwill. I've spent a lot of time with Callias, so Callias would trust me. Um. And my biggest concern is. These powers are incredibly powerful. Um, they are great, they are intense, and without the proper training, I am afraid that they could consume Callias. Okay. And not in like a fun way. Well, I was gonna say, Callias wouldn't mind being consumed. Well, yeah, and I say again, not in the fun way, in like a really bad, unfortunate, bummer way. So, bummer? I need you to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, then. And and you know what? I got abilities. I can bring them right back, right when they're wake, waking up. Cool. Yeah, and I can go see if I can cash wish. I don't know if I have all the stuff for it. I have to go find it. It's been a while. Been a while. Uh, Leonidas kind of hunkers over to Orum. Orum, Jesus. Orin. Orin. Uh, Orin, and kneels down in front of. Orin, and looks oh. at him oh. and goes... Kind of puts his little gnomish hand on your furry leg. If something happens to him, I will rip off your head. Oh, oh. oh that's it? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, uh, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, super... Hey, I've got a small head, as you can see. Tiny. Mm -hmm. So, don't want that. You're hitting dangerously near to Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> Yeah, you oh, are. Do it slide. is called the <laughs> slide. It's a slippery slope. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Yes, upon Callias' return, the stone will be returned to you. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what I want. Well, insight check. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay, roll an insight check. 21. 21. 21. Oh, please don't let me do it. Next point. Oh my god! Right, Drew. Um, with a natural 20. I got an 8. With an 8? Wow. Uh, with a natural 20, um, what you get is much more along the lines of like, it's he can make a bunch of these okay. probably. Like, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll take it back. Why not? All right. It's not a thing of like, okay. So this was really just a gesture of goodwill. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. Durant. Interesting. Yeah. Hey, it, uh, having a oh, little yeah. thing that he can, you can no, do no, important no, no, with. No, 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 cool. I'm not complaining. No. no. Yeah. No. yeah. Right. I was, Kyle, could you hand my dice? No. Please. Or I'm just be making up numbers this whole time. <laughs> Did you say you rolled no. a natural 20 or something? <laughs> I'm like, wow, natural 20 over <laughs> and over <laughs> again. God damn. So jinkies, mister. Hi, Ava. You little sphinx right there. He's so cute. Everyone yeah. say hello to Ava the dog. I don't think you can see oh, her. You can't see, see her, Ava. but she's, she's sitting on the table. She's, she's on the table. right on the table. Damn, we well, should always have the battle camp set up just for a doggy camp. Yeah, bro. doggy camp. It'll also be right on my boob. Yeah, so. <laughs> true. Which could get us some more viewers. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> so yeah, we'll complain. <laughs> um. All right. Well, I'll, I'll uh, grab this dinghy and I'll uh, um, go and. Uh, take Elias, uh, to my place. Great. Cool. Uh, I'll, uh, so I'm not really good with people. I can tell. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm not, not my, either. Well, I guess that's why I, we all kind of, like, like each other, right? We're all friends. Goodbye. Oh, okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> hey, you see, you see um, Oren kind of, like, get in, like, the driver's seat? And touches a couple like roots, like it's much like roots, like very natural kind of console. Just fondling. Does he go like beep boop boop? boop, boop. <laughs> but you're like, a, and you're like, and he's like, 
uh, solar membranes that look like leaves, like close up all around and create a sealed kind of spaceship, and it shoots off. Wait, um, did you just take one of our dinghies? Yep. You are left with one dinghy. Okay, well. Thanks for letting like, us know. You felt like that we could have. Yeah, felt like we could have. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess I should have told you. I've. Can you grow another one? I'm molting. You're molting. Are you a chicken? No. I, these tree ends, what they do when they're attached to a spell jammer, as they'll start molting off pieces, and that can be used to create items. I thought it'd be <laughs> prudent. To grow a little uh, uh, kind of vanguard vessel that we could scout out locations with. Yar. What are you two whispering over there? Oh no, nothing. No, don't worry about it. I'm suspicious. Ner Gron will remember that. I'm Leonidas. Huh? Huh? Right, well, what else is there to do but wait until we get to Brawl, eh? Unless anyone had I mean, anything important we, to talk about. I think I can we troubleshoot what we can do other if we still don't get a wish spell? I don't know what else we can do. You all seem very con convinced that we could do something. I don't well, know what it would be. Well, we haven't really come up with any other option. Well, could we, could we, could we ask Halifax? Maybe. I have been praying to the Raven Queen. Nothing's happened. Is there a way to contact Halifax? Can I contact Halifax? I have a calling card. You what? That's true. You do? I do. Oh, it's more like a, I have a favor from Halifax. Oh. We'll call in to Wait. see Beans. 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 I was saving it to... Beans. No, let's not use that. I was let's saving just, it like, for like a Hail Mary. Let's, try, let's just try and beckon him somehow. Is there a ritual we can do? Let's roll all of our... Die. We don't have those in I don't know, he's world. your god. I will um, <laughs> I will I will I will I will reach out my arms, I will look to the sky, and I will say Halifax What's his name? Halifax you just said it. Halifax <laughs> I am willing to give Wait, don't give stuff away. I am in this I, message. I would like your help. <laughs> look at Woody. <laughs> I would like your help, Halifax. This might actually work. I Halifax. think we could, if we could have a conversation, <laughs> that would be cool. And bring beans. And uh, uh, bring beans. Just shows up with a can of like bushes, big <laughs> bushes beans. Bang. Damn it. <laughs> uh, roll me a persuasion check, Leonidas. Can you There's... have advantage? Nope. <laughs> can I have some sort of help? Can nah. I cast... It's gonna be a roll. Can I cast guidance? Sure, I'll allow guidance. You add a d4. Thank I have a minus two. Huh? Well, we're going to do this one. Doesn't matter, y'all. Can't roll for shit. Damn, and you rolled a one on the def. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I rolled a. Let's see. I rolled a four minus two plus one. Four minus. What? So three. 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 <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> Out of three. A possible 24. <laughs> um. No, I have a possible 22. <laughs> for a <Andrew>. moment, <laughs> for a moment, you think you hear the squeaking of some wooden wheels. But it's just uh, you, a little, a little squeaking. And you hear, Oy, sorry, <laughs> I had some beans last night. Ryujin tries the same message. Uh, roll me a... Uh, Persuasion? Does the DC Please. go up? Roll a Howie chest. DC is absolutely going up. <laughs> the DC is through the roof. Uh, Wait, guide yourself. Let's do that. 18. 18? Uh, with an 18. No answer. Oh, I mean... My persuasion's really low. <laughs> so... I could, I mean, we could try and contact Halifax another way. I do have the card, but... I don't want you to waste it. I don't think... I, I'm I guess just, it's not I'm, really wasting I'm just being it, honest. That's not wasting it. What are we doing right now? We're trying to get... We're on our way to Brawl, brawl. where there are plenty of magic users. 
this, but this is us. just something we were what doing that on noise? the way. Uh, moment stops. You hear this kind of like alarm going off, and you see, you see Reknit kind of scramble over to the spell jamming helm, and being like, "Oh, uh, we're being we're being pulled out of void space. Uh, a distress signal. N- N- Negron, should we should we d- stop?" And it's like, "Oi." We should, uh, a vessel in trouble. Uh, it is the sailor's way to always bring aid. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, because we have nothing else Who's to do Who's steering here. this shit? I mean, they're <laughs> on. And looks towards Reknit, and Reknit goes, ah, uh, and looks towards you guys. Uh, you're the captain. What, what, yeah, what, we, what, if what is going help, on? we can't help, we should. Yeah. Uh, he he, he kind of like the spelljang hell kind of floats towards you his little like seat and it, a little like terminal pops up and it has like a little map of the area around you and in there you see um, a little blip and it is a distress signal and that is in, it's in your hyperspace lane or a void space lane that you are traveling on. Can we turn so, off that alarm yeah. somehow? Yes, and kind of like he like uh, Reckon it kind of hits a few buttons and brings the alarm down. Um, it's um, we can drop out of high, uh, void speed and just and just take a look. Sure, it's fine. All right, um, everybody, uh, hold on to something. Uh, and it's like you, you see Rex. This is how every sci-fi horror movie starts. Just, 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 just <laughs> and like move stuff around. Just bend your knees and engage. And the then uh, on the the helm, kind of <laughs> when you guys <laughs> out of void speed and just. The, sh- the ship kind of rights itself. Are there big whales? And no, no big whales. No purgle. Um, Star whales. No nope. Star whales. Um, everybody rolling perception checks as you drop out of void speed for the first time in two weeks. You don't even Ooh. I. What'd you fucking do? I roll. I've rolled only twos this whole session. Hey, only twos. Try this one. I, you give me new Come ones on. every time. Try it. Give it a few rolls. Don't don't roll right now. Roll when you need to. Roll when you need to, Dan. He doesn't literally is not listening, and this is why he's respect the die, head. Dan. Respect uh, it. Not when I can't roll above a seven. Keep going. Just use that it's one. It's a vicious cycle. It may surprise you. No. This is perception. Yes, perception. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, I rolled low. Ryujin. Well, let me add the. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Twenty-one as well. Twenty-one. An eight. An eight. Um, I'll just roll for the ship in general for everybody else. Good old ten. What'd you get? I just can't. I just just keep playing the game. Okay. <sighs> um, the chat's giving you advice on your dice. What What are they saying? So you need new dice. To Dan. charge them under. A I new like room. my dice. They don't. Like Honestly, you. you probably should charge them with the crystals and stuff. I what is this the D's for? Well, I mean, the crystals are charged, but like you should actually charge the crystals. I don't on a regular think. Basis. I don't know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dan's scared of witchcraft. <laughs> Look, <laughs> he did say he hates. He doesn't believe in witches yeah, today. Right. I didn't say this that. This is why your dice. Was that something I said? You did. Gosh, I don't remember that. <laughs> That's why you don't like Halloween. Oh, no, I don't like Halloween because someone <laughs> made fun of my Van Helsing costume when I was a kid. Well, that, well, that person sounds an like asshole. a them problem. A no, Van Helsing costume sounds badass. Yeah. The person said, and I quote, I know what you're dressing up as and you don't look anything like him. Oof. Oh, well, damn. Oof. That's their own opinion. Somebody's an asshole. Also, if they knew what you were dressing up as, then you did look a little bit like it. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> I would have taken that one and... I would have been like, but you know who I am, bitch. Um, all right. Let's move on. Uh, with 21s and a 16 and an 8, uh, you guys see a vessel um, off, kind of just floating in the distance. It is not upright. Usually there's a, a gravity plane that kind of keeps all ships to a, um, a true north and south uh, orientation. Uh, unless, like, it's changed. It's kind of like it's uh, almost a, a um, gyroscope system within the ship. But this one's off kilter. Uh, usually, the first sign that uh, there's something off in a ship. It is uh, with the 21s. You guys recognize these in your little bit of time on uh, in um, the void space. The, on Brawl last time, you learned that these type of ships are called tradesmen ships. 
Okay. They're usually about the same. They look slightly aquatic, um, just in their design. Um, so they like almost look like the underbelly of a fish with these big like fin sails that catch the light and pull them. Um, and with the 21s, uh, this one's name is the um, Ziphian Rose. Uh, could you spell that for X -I -F -I -A -N? me, please? X-I-F-I-A-N. Rose. Rose. And it is a, um, seems to be a derelict tradesman vessel. Um, well, I think if we're going to help, we might as well board, yeah? Mm-hmm. But strap in just in case something yeah. funny has happened. Uh, would you like to take the dinghy out on its maiden voyage, or would you like me to lash the ship to the the, the tradesman? I'd love to jam the dinghy. Yeah. You like to jam on the dinghy? Aye. Yeah, we'll Aye. Aye. dinghy jammers today. All is right. It, is it a big enough dinghy for all of us? Oh, this dinghy can fit many. Um, this dinghy could probably fit, like, crammed, a good, like, Ten people on it. Maybe even that. Actually, ten people relatively Same. comfortable. <laughs> um, so, wow. you all load up onto the dinghy. Who's driving this thing? I'll drive. Okay. I'm proficient in vehicles. Great. Yeah. Uh, just roll me. Uh, I think it's driving is what? Intelligence? Mm-hmm. 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 I'm looking. Rule pit stop. When you're using ship stuff, is it dexterity? Oh, it's some. It's somewhere in between dexterity and wisdom, is what yeah. I think. Yeah. You have to have the ability to react to things, but you gotta know when to react and know when not to. So this one's saying dexterity no, no can, but also wisdom or intelligence could also be used. Can it we, just depends on the situation. Can we use dexterity. I'll allow dexterity for this one because it's more of just like. Nothing's You're not, happening. like, trying to, like, figure out, like, oh, the ship, if I, I know the ship, so if I, like, cut off the drive and do this, I'm going to drift and I'm able to get this. Like, it's not bad. It's just sure. literally just driving. So, dexterity. 22. 22? Um, with a 22. Uh, pretty, like, a little touchy at first. Um, and getting to know, like, the um, levers and root levers um, that this, like, bio dinghy has created um, shoots you guys out. Um, bio dinghy. And <laughs> bio dinghy. Um, this. And um, before you guys, I will say a uh, quick retcon before you guys hang out, head out, uh, Nergron will say, the air, will, air envelope on that ship may be a wee bit uh, uh, expired. Ooh. So uh, you may want to take uh, some of the suits that are oh. down in the hole. We have oh, cool. space suits? I, you do have some void suits. Sorry, void suits? Yes, you're, you're good. <laughs> it, it, it seems a lot like space, doesn't it? I mean, it is void space. It's void space. Yeah. It's the void. void space suits. Void space suits. Void suits. Void suits. Boots, if you will. Boots. <laughs> Gotta put on my boots. Boots, <laughs> my boot suits. boot suits! Oh my yes. god! Okay. Um, actually, boot, they look like suit suits. Um, oh god, I hope not. <laughs> they don't. Maybe if you want to. Yeah. So, uh, you guys go down and actually in the, like, the spell jamming helm room, there's actually these like, they're just these little helmets. These like bubble helmets. Are they all different colors like Power Rangers? Uh, they are, do have different colors. So which colors do you buy? Do you, I mean not buy, do you grab? Uh, what color? Yellow. Yellow? Oh. Black. Black? I wanted yellow. Well, what color are you getting? Gold? Uh, there's like an, uh, an, like a, like an auburn. Fine, white. Okay, white, so we got yellow, black, white, Steelers colors. Green. <laughs> you were gonna be the Red Ranger? No. Oh, oh I guess it could be Wreck. Could have been blue. Yeah. He's the uh, captain anyway. Wreck, oh, Wreck's gonna stay on the ship. Oh, right, right. Um, and so it'd be just the four of you sallying out. With the first black battalion. All right. Um, are all these? Are we like in like skin tight suits? They are. Now? They are uh, tight where they need to be. 
Uh, well, that's what I was say. Oh, tight where they need to be. Yeah, like they, they so. cause like as you like you put them like to put the helmet on, the suit starts to form actually around you, almost like growing out like vines. Is there a place uh-huh. for my tail? <laughs> it does. It actually it, it kind of forms to the body. So it's not like super tight, it's formed to you, but it's this kind of form to you. Yes. Um it's like think of it like a like a flight suit. It looks it feels and looks like a flight suit. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, and suit is all the explanation. Um, and there is a place to poop and pee in case I'm just gonna get ahead of it. Was so worried. You know, I'm getting ahead of it. You know, okay. Someone would have brought it up. Have you guys I've ever role played us pooping? Yes, yes. yes. Famously, yeah. famously, <laughs> Ryu has gone. I'm gonna go mech me mode. Oh, <laughs> <what happened? laughs> um, it is true. So you guys. I also think I said make pudding. But <laughs> oh, you're my, you're pudding. Yeah, yes. make me pudding. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so you guys head to the ship. Uh, the you know, the dinghy easily flies right up and comes right alongside. Um, and oh, yeah. uh, cool thing about the dinghy is it has a um, latching mechanism where basically like, roots grow out. Two roots kind of just go out from the front, the side, and pull it in. And so when the the bubble opens, it just has you basically just like climb over the railing. Before we go in, um, I I point my finger out and I cast I cast it a few times, but I just point in different directions. Um, and and cast message, yeah. Uh, just saying like, like, what was the name of the ship? Uh, the Zithian Rose. To the crew of the Zithian Rose, uh, if if you are in need of help, we are here to assist. Please respond. Silence. Oof. Maybe we should go. Eek. Or we should figure out what happened. Yeah, let's figure out what's going on with this. Oh, God. Does anybody have any sensory things? I can see if there are other things. But you guys are too close for it to work, so, actually. I can cast... Wait, 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 wait. (gasps) I have an idea. And you'll look at Leonidas. We're we're, we're asking to have someone just, like, scope out shit before we go in there. We are in there. Well, what are we asking? Some we're trying to see if, if there are of things, life. signs oh, of life or things yeah, yeah. nearby. Yeah. Okay, so you'll look at Leonidas, and in the suit, you'll kind of see his eyes roll into the back of his head, and they'll go cloudy white, and then an echo will be right next to him. And, then, and that echo can kind of just go wherever the fuck it wants. For like 10 minutes, For right? 10 minutes. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And through so, walls and shit. So, surveillance style. Let's yes. Go. That echo is wearing nothing but a kilt. Huh? Ah, yes. So the basically, s- from the <laughs> Scottish universe. From the Scottish <laughs> universe. Uh, is he wearing anything under the kilt? Well, like a true Scot for one to find. Well, I mean, okay, so the uh, Scottish uh, echo. Scottish echo. Skesho. Skesho. Um, what music is this? It is on the deck of the ship. S- uh, you are seeing through it. Um, the deck of the ship, I'll describe it. Uh, you have the, uh, like the forecastle, um, and you also have the stern castle, which is the, the back and the front of the ship that are brought up. Okay. Um, the front of it has a nice large trebuchet on it that looks to have been fired. Like okay. it, it is in the fired position. Uh, and the front, in the, um, uh, the uh, forecastle. Uh, you could just say front and back. The front of the ship, the the forecastle. Uh, it is the you see the mast, the main mast of the solar sails, and then the um, stern castle in the back. It looks like to be where a spell jammer helm would hang. There's a couple small like gunning positions that look like you can like place a gun on them and fire from some sort of defensive position up there. But mostly it's the helm up there. Uh, that is the upper parts. The main deck on the bottom where you guys are attached to, there is a staircase going down under the stern castle and a staircase going down on the fore castle. So basically two sets of stairs going down. Other than that, it's a railing, open ship, and then there's two, you know, those cargo like things on ships where you can take them off and bring cargo in. Mm-hmm. There are those and you could say peer down into those if you wish. There seems to be a few stairs you, you, Leonidas can't hear any of you, but he can speak still. And so he kind of says out loud, he goes, uh, I can't hear any of you, but um, 
Uh, I, uh, there's a, there's not much on the top, and there's staircases that we can go down. There might be people down there. There's no one on, on top of the ship. Uh, the front or the aft. Okay, I'm assuming you guys have responded to me. <laughs> As you guys are all sitting on the ship, that's, you, you guys see this decently easily too, because it's just the, the top of the ship. And so, it, it works. You know that your thing works, Leonidas. Um, do you wish to delve deeper into the ship? Yeah. Um, first things first, everybody roll me investigation oh, checks. Just passive, or what's your passive investigations, I should say. Passive investigations. 16. 16? Passive? 13. 13? What's your passive? 25. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. fuck. Uh, 11. 11. So with a 25, Lilith, on one thing you do notice, just kind of looking around, on the... Um, uh, the main mast. There is uh, lifelines that looks to be tied off to there, and you see some of them blowing in the solar wind. Um, there may not be any more life on the ship. Just uh, it, it looks like. The, the ship might have lost some of its crew members. Um, Leonidas is going to... A, a closer investigation, you could learn more. Leonidas is going to send the Echo to where she's seeing it and see if, like, it can float off the boat a little bit and look in that area and see if... Yeah, so uh, the Echo walks up to the um, forecastle where the mast is and roll me an investigation check as Leonidas, please. Can and I, I'll I have can advantage. I assist? Oh. Advantage, yeah. Oh. Great. <laughs> investigation? Oh. Yeah, investigation. Come on, Larry. Nice. <laughs> 12. <laughs> a 12? Yeah. Looking, so with a 12, you do get a little bit. Um, for the most part, most of these lifelines are pretty well tied to, like, the, the, the battens that are there. Uh, however, they all do ex seem to be separate. Like they were. Oh, it's like a clean cut. They were cut, frayed, frayed not, if you will. These were. Wait, so they they were cut or they were like pulled? Uh, it's a bit of both. Uh, these ropes were pulled and cut, pull cut. So tampered. What? So they were tampered with. Yeah, something uh something cut these ropes either something of great force because some of them are more frayed like like it popped off and like just blew up almost or. Sliced. Okay, weird. Um, I think we need to go below deck, but everybody keep your head on a swivel. If someone could take my hand. You, you can put the... You don't want to see with your own eyes. You can no, put the echo I, away I think it's, I think it's kind of cool. I mean, how, how long has it been? You can dispel it whenever you want, my love. No, no, but I can only do it for ten minutes. Okay. I don't know. I thought it was cool. I can. No, it is it. cool. It's quite cool. I'll lead you by the hand. All right, thank you. You're Here so cool, Leonidas. <laughs> thank you. Um, so uh, you guys, you're not I sending Echo down. I do let Leonidas run into one wall. <laughs> Just one. Uh, you're you're not <laughs> sending uh, the Echo down first. You're all going down with the Echo. No, I'm, no. that's why. That's why. I, that's why I said someone hold my hand. I'm going to send. Well, I didn't say this, but I wanted to <laughs> say send the Echo down first. But hold my hand if we're going to start moving. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Echo Downs first. Is it going down the front staircase or the back staircase? Sorry, where we're we're like here and it's, or we're here and it's there. Or? Uh, you guys are on the side of the ship. Let's say the port side of the ship, and to your left and right is the stair two staircases, both lead down to the lower deck. What? There's, are, are you just going pick, down? Just put oh, right. uh, the, yeah, the left. Sorry. Left. Okay. Um, so that is going from the port. That's going to be uh, the Stern Castle. Cool. <laughs> hey, I got to have it right in my brain, okay? okay. Um, so the Echo heads down, and you pop down the stairs, and... And now it's also the ship is kind of listing, so it is like kind of a weird kind of when you're walking down visually, but in front of you, as you get to the bottom of the stairs, there's a door in front of you that is ajar, and then two doors on your left or right. 
and then a hallway that wraps around <coughs> the other, the like stairs around this way, and goes to the front of the ship. Uh, I see two doors on my left and right, and a hallway that slurps around. Squeeze once for the left it door and around. twice for the right. And there's a door also in front of you with the door jar. And there's a oh, there's a door jar in front of me. Mm -hmm. Squeeze three times for that. Okay, we're going to the left door. Okay, you enter the left door. Uh, as you go in, it looks like some sort of bedroom. Uh, it is pretty messy. It looks like it got, it got turned. Uh, roll me an investigation check as you're down here. Ooh, 14. A 14? With a 14, as you are checking thing? out this uh, oh, fucked up room, uh, you find, it looks like a journal. Uh, as you kind of, as the air kind of flips through it, uh, and you can read, of course. Um, <laughs> come on, you can. Man. Come on now. Uh, we've established. Is it, we've established. You can read. Uh, it just seems like a lot of, like pretty basic. This like a noble <laughs> who is who uh, booked passage on the ship to go to Brawl, uh, and then suddenly it's just like talking about their voyage. Seems very vanilla, very boring. Mm -hmm. um, like they're just like had some cargo that they're bringing to Brawl for to trade, and then suddenly the passages stop, and they stopped about a week ago. Cargo. Got about a week ago. Um, anything else in this room? Uh, other than like, it's been fucked over, no blood, <clears throat> but it's been turned big time. It doesn't say anything about what the cargo was? Yeah. Nope. I'm gonna, i take the echo, I'm gonna say to everyone in a hushed voice, um, this, uh, this journal, come on, uh, this journal um, has message or er, uh, pair of uh, entrances. Fuck me. Whatever. You Written. Can, it. You convey what you heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I hate it. And then I'm gonna set the the door in front of the echo was uh, a jar. I'm gonna go into that door. Okay. Uh, this one is the engine room. Uh, and you and like also like all over the corner, a small lab is set up over on the right. Uh. It really just seems like a. This one's not super turned over. The engine looks damaged. Uh, like you see, like a, like a few like dripping oil from it. Um, but it looks pretty beat up and in disrepair. But it's the engine room. So maybe we should check out. Yes. Cargo. I think I think it's safe yeah. to go down there. The door that was open seems to be fine. I. We can go down and I'll send the echo around the corner. That's helpful. Okay. Um, so the party heads to the stairs. The echo, you begin to head down the hallway. Now, as you head down the hallway, um, the first door you see is, looks like some sort of like armoire closet looking thing. Um, like set of double doors, but not really looks like anybody walks through it. They are closed. Uh, immediately as you turn the corner around the stairs, the hallway kind of continues to your left. But in front of you right here, there is another door. Um, you don't know what. It's a closed door. Uh, but then, as you look down the hallway, there are two sets of large double doors, and you can see uh, barrels and crates that are kind of like pushing out of the doors. They seem to be the cargo rooms yeah, up ahead of you, immediately on your left and right. And then the um, hallway splits off into two directions at the other end. But the barrels and the crates are in front of the doors? Uh, they're like, the doors are kind of like open. Okay. Um, and you can see barrels and crates as you kind of like peer down. Hmm. Well, it just unsheathes the blade of broken mirrors and keeps it ready. Okay. Um, do you guys, are you guys letting the echo continuing, or are you, are you guys now just going to follow the echo? Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to undo the, the avatar echo version of it, but still have the echo there. Okay. So it can't go a thousand feet, but it can go. It has to Thirty near, near me. Yeah. Um, so the echo is just kind of like almost like as you uh, get the avatar off, it more like just kind of like t poses in a way, oh. not literally, but like it loses its like your yeah. essence in it. And you guys see kind of come around the hallway. Do you open either those other doors before you hit the cargo or no? Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll open the okay. right door. And I'll open the left. Okay, uh, the left door, the closet looking one, that is, as you open it, it's not locked, it is, but a set of brand new solar sails. Mm. Um, like, like, 
like they are pristine, like nice and like perfectly folded in there. They're in like a little like small crate, but you can tell like it's like some new replacement solar sails. I'm gonna take these. Have your echo take them. Go back. Yeah. Okay, I'll go back into Avatar and have to take it back. All right. So you, you <laughs> into the um, the echo. The echo it's brings really it back good. and sets this crate into the thing. While you, he does that, um, as you open this other door, Tim Fam, mm-hmm. it's the crew quarters. This one looks like there was a fight in here. Mm-hmm. There, there are some scorch marks. Uh, and uh, what weird, like some like pock marks throughout everything. It's not like scorching. It's not, but it almost looks like something hit it and melted. What did you say? What pock? Pock. What is that? Like, like a, a like a divot, kind of. Yeah. I don't know that um, that's cool. And. Not a lot of blood, mm-hmm. but it does look like a fight was in here. There are no bodies, but it's the crew quarters. I, Any? Sorry, real quick for my brain. The amount of ropes were how many outside? Four? Just retconning my brain. The amount of ropes? The ropes that we saw that were tied off. That were snapped. Um, you, you didn't count, but there were like a good number. Like there was like a nice, like, uh, I think this ship can. Like more than 10 or? Oh, like yeah. an our flag means death crew number? Uh, there can be uh, a crew of minimum 10 people on this. Okay. So I would say there, so was, like, there was like there was like 15 oh, shit. ropes. Um, right. When Finfam opens the door, I'm going to go and look for any kind of writing or anything that would be telling us what's in the cargo. Okay, roll me an investigation check. That's a 10. That's a 10. Uh, so 25. Okay, uh, 25. Um, with 25 you're going through, you find one, uh, and it speaks to something. It's like, uh, some about, like, in it, it's a debt. It's a, it's a list of a sailor, like one of these sailors' debts. Um, and it's the only thing you really find with that in this room. And it's, uh, he, this individual sailor had a debt to um, Nadoran Crass. Could you spell that or the, for me? the Crass Association. Uh, Nadoran is N uh, apostrophe uh, D-O-R-I-N K-R-A-S-S Nadoran Crass and the Crass Association. Associ- association. I relay that information, just so we know that it's not just Baron Tylo Vale who is. Have any of ever heard, of us heard that name before? Of uh, Nadoran Crass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Roll me history checks. Tim Fan does not. Yeah. I don't know why. Ooh, covering. my little black book that I stole from Baron Tylo Vale. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you can look through that. And see. I'll roll with advantage then. I got a 22. History? history, yes. I rolled 22 history? I rolled very well. Nice, Dan. See, you just gotta like know what your skills are. Well, I, 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 wildly, I'm, in, I'm proficient <clears throat> in history, so. Uh, 27. 27, 22. 22, 22. damn, all right. Um, you guys know, you guys picked up on the history in the little bit of time you've been in um, Brawl. But Nadoran Crass is a business businessman. What's written in uh, <laughs> so basic thing. knowledge with the twenty with the twenty twos. Uh, Nadoran Crass is a businessman, a, bis, a businessman, legitimate businessman out of Brawl. Uh, he runs uh, a association that acquires exotic materials. Um, mm-hmm. So have it be very rare spell components or raw materials for building or forging or anything like that. He's kind of the guy on Brawl to go find for that. That's what the 22 gets you. Um, with the little black book and the 27, uh, Nadoran Crass uh, is, used to be a smuggler. Okay. Uh, used to work with Tyler Vale. And Tyler Vale is in, his, in, in Tyler Vale's little black book of contacts. Uh, Nadoran Crass is... Um, th- uh, I think he's in more of like a thief category, is what uh, Tylo Vale is talking about. If he needs something stolen or um, acquired by any means, 
that's what he's done before for him. Okay. Hmm. Uh, but the the entry is pretty old. Okay. Older than the other ones. Information to know. Don't know if it's related, but still good information to know. Mm -hmm. To the cargo bay. Okay. You guys head up to the cargo bay. Um, and uh, first of all, as you get to the doors, you see further, there's some more set of doors, and it looks like the um, hallway goes around to the, the other set of stairs towards the front of the ship, just so you know like, okay. where you are. Um, you poke your heads into the cargo bay. Roll me perception checks, please. Come on. This is a natural 20 again. Oh, oh my god. Holy shit, all right. Just one. Like and you're one. a human. Oh. Crazy. I'm rolling like ass. You're telling me. <laughs> Um, a so, a natural 20. 18. 18? 16. 22. 22. Well, with the natural 20 and the 22, and, I mean, all of it's still pretty good. Um, with a natural 20, you hear a... From inside? Just kind of coming from a general direction of... It's kind of like, for a second, you hear something squelching. I will send... I can send the echo if we don't want to go in there. No. I'm going. You want to go in? I'll go in. Okay. You poke your heads in, and this place has been thoroughly ransacked. Uh, things have been turned over, dumped out. You really can't tell. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff. Like, there's no... Uh, it looks like nothing was taken. What's the noise? Can we see the noises? Yeah. Oh. Is there, like, a... See the noise. Like a crate or like a box. There's lots. I mean, it can be more specific. Like a like a, a where you would keep an animal. No, there is no there you do not see a box that has holes in it, if that's your ask, okay. your question. Okay, yeah. Um but I mean as soon as you guys kinda of entered the room and made some noise, the squelching, squelching kinda of stopped. Can yes. we investigate yeah, for us. that specific sound? Okay, roll investigation checks as you begin to search the room. And when you have it, tell me if you're specifically looking for the sound or just like general investigation. This sound for me. Sound for you? Yeah. Fim? Uh, bad. <laughs> bad, bad. That's a three. A three? <laughs> you're, you're like, oh, it's some bananas. <laughs> uh, I'm just looking. Potassium. I'm just looking. Wow. I'm looking generally. Gen you're investigating generally? General uh, investigation? General investigation. Uh, uh, 18. <laughs> That's pretty good. An 18? I'm rolling kind of better now. Yeah, all right. And Lilith? A 31. And oh, I'm looking for the squelch. Okay. Like, assisting Ryujin, uh, I assume. For the general investigation, I'll hit you, then I'll hit you guys. Um, general investigation, you're looking around, and you find a set of uh, crates that have been turned over, and there is, like, this um, kind of looks like kind of uh, bags of sand. Um, and like the sand itself is like very fine, but it just like looks like nice sand um, of some sort. Uh, but the crates they're coming out of are interesting because for the amount of, you see one that's toppled over and there's like three bags of sand, that crate looks like maybe eight bags of sand could fit in it. Huh? That's all I see. It looks like the crate that's all I see. No, not <laughs> that way. I mean, it's a general question. You're fucking kidding me. Oh, uh, are you serious? So no head? He's like, so no head. head. <laughs> <laughs> I was 19 and no head all. Oh. No, it was like you got a high roll and you're like, that's it? Like, damn. You got an eight. No head? Oh. That's <laughs> No, that's not what I meant. I meant, I meant, is there other things that I might have seen? Is that it? Uh, it looks like there's something weird with these boxes. <laughs> it, in, in a way that, like, I'm like, that's weird, or in a way that's like, that's weird. <laughs> it's weird. What? What is that? Damn, I need to be a little more specific. Do you know what that means? I would say, no. it's, I would say it's weird. Like, Leonidas is like, what's up over there? <laughs> Something's weird about the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling Can you, you all. Can you go closer? Well, I can, but my echo's looking all over the place. Can you go a little closer? 
Can you t- put the echo away and can you open your eyes and look? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you you just sound like a married couple. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I, I look close. It just looks... It, I'll tell you right now. The the boxes look like they should hold can more you sand. Open them. Can you the look sand boxes? Them? Yeah, I look. I look through them. <laughs> so I'm trying to. Uh, you look through the sand box. The sand itself is just like very nice sand. It's, we got some nice sand. Um, but the boxes, as you kind of look at it, it looks like there's some sort of false bottom <gasps> on these boxes. Yeah. I have false my bottom. You false your bottom. You uh, are you just going to try to take off the bottom? <laughs> I don't even know anymore, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Lee and I, if you go oh, in and you try to, like, pop the bottom off, oh, yes. uh, as you kind of, like, fiddle with it and you find, like, the little edge, it roll me a uh, dexterity saving throw. Yo, is this a... The echo? Ooh, I do have... No, this is Leonidas. This is uh, Leonidas. A dexterity uh, saving throw, please. You, uh, pro- you probably don't I have advantage. You have, yeah. Advantage. Yeah. Oh, 14. A 14. That is just enough. As you kind of hear it, you hear a shwing, and you pull your hands out, and kind of at the top of it, this blade goes whoop, almost like it's gonna try to cut off your hands. Ooh. There are traps! That means there's something important. But now, it's, now it goes whoop, and it's stuck there, and now the trap is, and you see the bottom is kind of like, the false bottom has been uh, ajar. What's. You can see in this, there are these bricks that are wrapped up. Uh, okay. the smuggler. Okay. It is this. It is this of kind of ochery powder that shimmers when you look at it. I take Cocaina. one. Of the, I take one of the bricks. <laughs> you you take no, a brick you and it's it them. is a pretty. It's a solid brick, but like as it kind of like in the light, the little bit of light that you have in here, it's pretty dark in here. But like the, I don't know, ambient light uh, has a shimmer to it. Um, question. Yeah. As the nightmare crew has had many a box of drugs. <laughs> Do, does this look like drugs and looks, or familiar drugs? Uh, does it look like familiar drugs? Does look like drugs. So it looks like drugs. It's not the dust they were making on Mobio. Uh, it was not the dust they're making okay. on Mobio. Okay. What uh, void drugs? Can, void I, drugs. can I can I can I try and figure out what type of drugs it is? You can roll you me. Can try it. Can I roll, can I roll a drug check? Uh, I think your check. <laughs> Nate, I would go with medicine or uh, intelligence saving throw. Not like inside? Uh, it's not really lying These to me. drugs you. lying to <laughs> yeah. me. Oh, sorry. I, mean, I didn't mean to you take I them, to they say, might be. But. I meant to not say it. <laughs> what did you say? I would medicine. say medicine, or I'd even allow history, but that's going to be a higher DC. I'll do history. Okay. Or just history intelligence boy. saving throw. History I have. History, at least I get something to it. Come on. Ooh, fuck yeah. Uh, 22. Hell yeah. Wow. 22. Um... So, uh, with a 22, it's there, it's there. nice, man. Hey, oh. history. I, I have a plus six Dan, in history. maybe you should play smart characters. Yeah, yeah honestly. Not saying Leonidas is dumb, but, like, play a wizard. Oh, what do you think I want to do next? I know, right? Okay. We'll, I wanna, we'll talk about it later. Uh, Kill Leonidas? No. This, well, is, this is Spice. Spice. Oh, Spice. 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 Oh, spice. remember when we said we were rich? Y'all want to get richer? Fuck, <laughs> oh, we cannot. Uh, <laughs> We're the bag with, of with the history <laughs> check, uh, you learned while you guys were hanging out um, this spice, and this is very much like, it's very much the, the Dune style spice, but it's been yeah. bricked. Cool. Bricked up. It's bricked up. I, I, um, <laughs> hey, yo. Spice itself, um, it has, goes by many names, but spice is like the most like ubiquitous, but has a lot of nicknames. Um, and like it depends on like what strain it is. So there's like a strain called Red Six. Um, there's a strain uh, called like, and, a, and you can even say that Seal Oro is like a derivative of spice, but a more natural derivative. It's like uh, acid versus shrooms in a way, where it's like all psychedelics, but crack versus cocaine. Leonidas, yeah. Leonidas with his ten foot arms throws them in the air with the thing and yells, "This is spice." Um, yep, there's bricks of spice. Yeah, well, Lilith opens two, the bag of holding, and put will, everything yeah. in. And there are more down <laughs> it's there. It's too much it? to hold in the bag of holding. As you look, the there is oh, about nice. six crates that are look like have the sand in it, and each crate has four bricks under the false. What's four times six? Twenty. Twenty-four. 
So you have 24, 24 bricks of cocaine. But we have to go through the vault, so we have to do the trap every single time. Yes, but I would say with this, you know how to do it. You, okay. can, you can unlock it. Uh, you have 24 bricks of spice. We got a lot of spice. Do you want to add that to our yeah. inventory? Thank you. That's a lot of spice. Wait. That's a lot of spice! What, what do the two of them hear with the well, squirrel? got that. To the squelching. So uh, the, the, you guys got distracted by the spice. Um, you just got a mode of, a mode of inspiration. <gasps> Hey y'all, it's a great. It started off poorly when I with Halifax, but now I'm rolling well. I see Leonidas retiring to be like a history professor. Honestly, same. Like, especially like like military history. Oh, sure. But or like a, history of, a, of combat. But one who's off. that's or me. the theater. That's or the theater. theater. <laughs> but you're afraid of theater, aren't you? <laughs> Doesn't mean I can't follow my fears. What? Follow your <laughs> face. What? Went to Cameron. Okay, what do you mean? Okay. There's 24 bricks. Yeah. 24 bricks. No, 20, 25. 24. 24. 24. 24. Six, Six times, times four. four. You know what's better than 24? 25. Anyway. That was the most SpongeBob thing you've ever said. That was literally a SpongeBob quote. Oh, really? So, oh. So, Woody and I didn't uh, get. Uh, we right weren't off. allowed we were to watch SpongeBob. SpongeBob kids, so here we are. Don't even invoke his name. You yeah. Know, <laughs> the two of you might take a gander of your life and. Go good. back and listen. I'm good. I mean, I've never felt like you? I've missed out. Um, <laughs> early SpongeBob some, shit. Some, like, early seasons Spongebob one through four is, is prime choice like slapstick comedy. I, I really, I really think good. that if you missed it, you missed it though. I don't know. No. I go back and rewatch it. You didn't miss it though. Yeah, you're right. That's what I mean. I have gone back and rewatched it. It is comedic genius. It's wonderfully made. I think. If but you also have that lens of nostalgia over the SpongeBob. Maybe the member berries. Yeah. You seen the movie? Yeah. The movie's great. Question: Would yeah. we know how much a brick of spice is worth? Depends on the market and where you are. Okay. What about in brawl? That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Brawl. What about mm. in brawl? Um, we wait, in so brawl, we know. Not right now, I'd be in brawl to find out. Yeah. You said strains. We know of red six and sil oro. Do we know any other strains? Um, sure. Let's. What's a fun other name? Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't have to make one up. I'm just asking. There's you other had, names. You had red six. I did ready because to go. because it's. Uh, I have it by my back pocket. Um, I would say another strain. Hip pocket. Um, let's call it a. Uh, um, uh, uh, blue nitrous. Uh, <laughs> blue ivy. Oh, wait. Uh, blue purple ivy. rain. Purple rain. Blue ivy. For sure. It's purple blue rain. Kid. It's more of a, a purple hue, and it's uh, usually ingested through the mouth, not through the nose. Purple rain. Purple rain. Purple rain. Purple rain. Great song. And it's adjusted through the mouth. Yes. Where red six is in hell. Is it like inhaled. An yeah. Are there any that are through the anus? Anus? Uh, you do not know Look. any blue, blue nitrous. Not <laughs> yet. <laughs> uh, it's like not B yet. L uh, O O. Blue. Blue. Blue, blue. blue nitrous. <laughs> um, you don't know any specific ones that you boof, but you're pretty sure there's some you boof. <laughs> that I what? Boof? B O O F is when you put something in your ass. Like, I'm gonna boof this. Stop. Nemi just came into the chat and said, Did someone say anus? <laughs> <laughs> so, if you wanna try boofing any of this spice, Dan, go ahead. Can I just tell you, I just learned that. What word. kind of check would that be? Boofing? Constitution. Check. Constitution. Constitution check. I'll, I'll, I'll boof or check. investigation. I'll do a constitution check for boofing. Why are you, you, you but what? I think it's. No, but I think boofing, well, you have to ahead. relax. Like, you have to, like. And like relax so you can get it up there, you know? Now, do you have to like. Never mind. This is not going to dive deeper into that. Let's, yeah, let's let this. Let's I mean, there, there, are, there are ways to relax the taint, but. Um, the taint? The, the taint, taint is what's. I mean, the taint. The well, the taint is the the runway for the. Um, the you don't well, Yeah, okay. So yeah, you, you use the taint as the entry it point. Up, it's, the sphincter. it's the sphincter, yeah, but like either relax the sphincter, but also massage the taint. <sighs> The taint is the runway for the sphincter. Are we taking a break at any point? <laughs> <laughs> Soon. Uh, to the squelching. The chat's fucking funny right to now. To the squelching in the cargo hold. <laughs> yeah, the 31. Now that we've gotten our drugs. Um, I didn't even have to give him my score. You that made me lightheaded. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. As I you guys are 22, by the way. You never... Got yeah, it, with the 22, with 31. both, yeah. both like th 30 fucking one and 22, uh, you guys are moving through. Doesn't seem like a lot, except at one point, under two large crates that are filled with bananas, 
Um, Space ban- Void bananas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. They gotta be on the bananas. Just bananas. 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 Potassium. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, gotta have vitamins somewhere. Um, so the vitamin bananas K. peel, if I unpeel them, they're actually bananas inside and I'm drugs? You wanna try? Yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. check every you guys, banana. You guys <laughs> check the banana? <laughs> one by one. They <laughs> make us roll for it. <laughs> every a one. spider uh, crawls out of that video. It's all bananas. Oh, I rolled a one. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, a, it's a banana. Damn it. But it's like a, a really mushy one. Ooh. That's, that's like good for banana bread. Banana bread. Yeah. I eat it anyway. I eat it anyway. <laughs> that hurt my fucking heart. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Nick. <laughs> so. You can't peel a banana. Uh, you, you guys see under, underneath these two crates, almost semi-hidden, there is another crate going down seemingly to the steerage of the ship. Move it? Huh? It is another opening oh, going deeper into the ship. Oh. We have to go deeper. We go deeper. <laughs> or we could leave. Why would we not? We've already found drugs. I am intrigued, though. No, I know, but like, we wouldn't lose anything if we just left now. <laughs> we might we, gain we more, might though. Gain more. Mm. What would you rather? Lose Pirates everything or more, gain right? more? How are those the options? Yeah, why is that the option? I'm saying take what we have instead of possibly lose everything or gain more. No, we well, gain we more really or we lose, lose everything. Like they'd have to wrestle the bag of holding from London. Let me tell you right now. If anyone needs to wrestle, I'll be good at it. Okay. Anyways, let's dive deeper. Mm-hmm. You guys... Yes, uh, <laughs> you guys move the crates, <laughs> and you see uh, this this um, <laughs> passageway is looks a lot different than the one before. So the other ones before are like that very classic like cross-hatched ship. Kind of you can see through it. Light comes down. That's where the light's coming from. You know there. That one. Um, oh, yeah. You guys know. Uh, we've all seen Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, yar, yar, yar. Yar. Uh, but these ones are metal panels. And to the, like next to them, there's a little access point. Um, and it looks like it takes some sort of uh, code, handprint, something to get through, or hacking ability. Can I hotwire it? You can absolutely try. Uh, roll me. It's gonna be just intelligence saving throw for you, unless you have anything else you can argue towards. Sleight of hand. Yeah, I'll say sleight of hand if you want to literally like hot wire it. Yeah. H of T. What is the highest intelligence? Right now. So, for sleight of hand, I rolled a two. So that's a twenty-one. That's twenty-one. That's crazy, that is... bro. What would have happened if you rolled high? Wow. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> What so the you hell hear a couple is that beeps. Noise? Uh, I'm okay if it breaks. R2? Into, you know. Yeah, you hear a couple beep like a little. It says yes, and then the door slides open. I'm gonna turn up my little soundboard. It shh, opens up, and you see this is a much darker room down in here. And as it opens up, you already get this like blast of this humid air. Just hits you right in the face. Humid? Humid. Humid, hot, wet, humid. And has a bit of a metallic y, dusty smell to it. Um, Do you wish to dive deeper? Turn around and leave. No? Okay. Yes, dive deeper. There's no stairs, so it's about a 10 foot drop. Leonidas goes I go here. head first. <laughs> no, Leonidas puts his arms down. I'm fucking salmon into Leonidas, Leonidas lays Leonardo. on the ground. Leonidas. Leonidas <laughs> lays down, puts his arms and goes, Leonardo. climb down my arms. You know, I can't argue with that. There are 10 feet. feet. There, you have a 10 foot reach. I have which a 10 foot reach. Which means your arms are like five feet long each, but, because it's like your weapon and then your arms. Oh yeah, that's true. But let's, they get some close enough to where they can climb down your arms and drop down um, painlessly. Mm-hmm. Uh, the ledge and putting your feet down and then dropping like, is, is pretty much the same thing. It's a yeah. ten foot drop. You know, it's sometimes I gotta feel like I've been part of something. <laughs> uh, you <laughs> crawling in you, my skin. You, you literally surveilled the ship before we went in. You were a part of this. I know. I'm joking. And you found the drugs for us. Whoa, you were, you were very much a part of this. So uh, as uh, you guys uh, all drugs. drop down, who here can see in the dark? Dark, dark vision. vision, dark vision. 
Oh, you know your boy, uh, Can. Yeah. You, you have dark vision? Yeah, I can. I think you're the only one. You, are you the only one that doesn't have dark vision? Has been the only one that doesn't it's have very vision. tough to see down here. Oof. Um, I, I might be able to. You may only get to see anything that is within five feet of you Hold from up. this opening. Hold up. Real Jim, can you see? I know you normally can't see in Hold the dark. Up. Let's make this happen. Does anyone have some sort of light? Oh, wait. I have a. I forgot that one of my swords just lights up. You have, you do have like a fucking. I have one of my swords. Oh, I, I cast dancing lights. Oh, do that. Okay, that you. So Sorry. you, um, you, you see, it's kind of dark. You see, uh, region kind of struggling to like take. Well, I was just gonna light a match and then use thaumaturgy to make the flame bigger, but. Oh, that's, that's cool. Fine. There's a there's a big circle of little tiny globules that kind of bounce, in like their own, and they switch color on every bounce. Mm -hmm. Are they coalescent? Yes. Very globules. Um, you what's like the color palette? Is it like I a. Every time. It's yeah. just, for some reason, it smelled like a while. <laughs> I guess so. It's been a long time. Um, I did this last week. <laughs> as these globules light up, these pearlescent globules um, oh. fill the air, uh, they, and the light, room lights up even more. And even, even for those who could see in the dark, you couldn't really make out, but now that you see, you see this, on the ground, this sea. Not sea, but like, the ground of this is filled with eggs. <gasps> What? Ryujin's what these happy dream. Fleshy. Oh. Uh, slimy eggs. Can you give me one more descriptor? Can we... Uh, fleshy, moist. slimy, um, uh, viscerelic. Viscerelic? Viscerelic. It looks like pieces of meat. Pentagon. Meaty. Pentagon. <laughs> Pentagon. Um, Brazier. Well, I guess fleshy, <laughs> fleshy really got that yeah. point through, though. Fleshy, I mean, fleshy and slimy are fine. Fleshy, yeah. slimy, we hit the meaty. What's the shape? They're regular, like, like, uh, like uh, yeah, they shape. look like they're about um, about the size of my head, personally. Um, maybe a bit bigger. Of Woody Minshew's? Of Woody Minshew's head, yes. Wow. Um, Woody Minshew from Earth. Musky. I think musky is good. Wait, Wait Woody's <laughs> here. Welcome to Earth. So you just see Woody's head like. Uh, <laughs> um, Every egg is Woody's head. Ooh, that's where he's um, at. What happens if I touch one? Oh no! One? You want to touch an egg? Wait, touch I, I want to. Oh. Well, Region can't curb his that's excitement fair. of seeing. I definitely egg. think we take should leave. leave at this point. I think I was gonna roll an investigation check to see. I've already touched it. Uh, okay, so we'll 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 resolve uh, <laughs> touching it and then investigation check. As you go up to the nearest egg, um, roll investigation when we do this. Uh, you kind of just, just touch the side yeah, of it, the top of it. The top. You touch the top, and then the top is like three little flaps, and like that movie we all saw one day. And this little of mist comes out. Oh shit. 18. 18. Ryujin. Um, first things first, you count. There are 14 eggs in here. Is this gonna be like a face hugger? I I don't. That movie scares me by itself, let alone my dreams. And then this game we're playing, we can just burn them all. Face huggers move real fast. Have you ever watched those movies? Just get a wide range of burn. What happens? What do you um, <laughs> with that? So 14. 18. 18. 18. I'm sorry. 18. But there's 14 eggs. Oh. Um, and it opens up. And let me pull up my stat really quick. Oh my god. Give me two seconds, 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 two seconds. Wait, so it opened up and something came out of it? No, a little a little of mist comes out after the the, the three folded flower of this fleshy egg opens. Does do, 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 do you notice anything in the <laughs> egg? I'm waiting for you. Uh, roll me a perception check to see if you see inside of it. No, I rolled an investigation. Oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. But the mist wasn't like poison or anything, because that's what I thought it was. Nope, oh. mist is not okay. poison. It seemed like some sort of fart. Take a look at this. Another natural 20? That's number three. Nami, I'd like you to update the chart because you it's. Can't re roll it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was a natural 20. Okay, uh, so <laughs> when you see natural 20, you see this Pretty little nice. alien creature kind of circling in this goop inside of it. Um, it has, as you, and with that natural 20, you see little 
face tendrils, very reminiscent of mind flares. Ooh. Interesting. Let's show them all. Okay. So can I? Can I really? I'm gonna bring out Aron. Um, but saying that, <laughs> as you're peering in, you see this little this little uh, thicky tadpole. Gooping around in its goop, it's gonna. <laughs> no, around no, goop. this little tadpole's gonna go. <laughs> and it shoots out of its little goop at you, Ryujin, and it's going to make an attack on you to try to cling to your face. This is my it. nightmare. Uh, Advantage? That's going, yeah. Because um, you don't expect a freaking tadpole fair. to jump out of my Um That is going to be a. 23 to hit. It does hit. Okay, with a 23 to hit, ah, um, it's going to do uh, this little tadpole with its little like uh, mind flayer tentacles is going to wrap around your face. Okay. Um, and you see this. And I used to suddenly Ryujin has this large kind of old like big Squidward nose of a um, tadpole on it. However, um, I'm don't gonna, touch it. You're gonna take. <laughs> don't touch, it's on your don't face. touch it. Don't I touch it. Take care of it. I'm gonna rip it off your face. Don't rip it off my face. What if you rip my face with it? This I know what I'm doing. When no, I rip. you don't know what you're doing when you rip off don't the face. Don't touch it. I got it. I got I'll it. handle it. You are, uh, <laughs> you are, uh, you are, uh, <laughs> Ryujin, you're taking five points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, weak. Uh, as it hits you in the face. You know what? That's its max, da- max damage on this attack. Yikes. So, uh, <laughs> wow. But it's not trying to kill you. It's fucking crit it on you. It's trying to take over. I no, it's trying to embed itself inside of you. It's taking my mind away from me. It's playing my mind. It's laying an egg. That's what. Ultimately, for it to take over my mind. Um, so, uh, I need everybody to roll me initiative, please. Hey. Oh. Oh. Roll me initiative, all right. Are we taking a break? Wait one second. <clears throat> I was going to do a reveal. I have to feed cats. You're like two fucking seconds. I have to feed cats. Wow, that was incredible. Where are you going to put a map right, right now? Where it's just going to be fear of the mind, baby. Okay. It's use your imagination. I... Get out. I am blessed. Get out. Are you a god I'm right blessed. now? Fucking. I am blessed. This guy's a god. I can't with That's this. That's the fifth? True. I, no, it's the six. I rolled a random one in between the one I just rolled. <laughs> I, I, just, I, yeah. just <laughs> I think we... You, yeah, it should be a... I don't even know. Halifax is smiling. Okay, what'd you get? It's because he didn't answer Sorry. me today. Um, yeah, I rolled... Tw- uh, I got 12. That was his a 12. Answer. All right. I'm not last. Uh, Ryujin, natural 20. Yes, which All is right. crazy because I rolled with advantage because I have advantage on initiative. I rolled an 18 and a natural 20. So. All right. Uh, I got a 14. A 14? Wow, Lilith. I also What's got a 14. Uh, a 7. Oh, nice. I don't I mean, I'm not last. Do you want a crystal? No. Okay. <laughs> I In fact, what, what's your... Oh, your dex is way higher. My dex is yeah, a yeah, 22. Yeah, Why is it dex? Ooh. Huh? Why is it dex that does that? Because, because it's like, boo! Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, as this thing, you see this thing start to, like, like contract its body as it's trying to uh, uh, insert its uh, being into Ryujin. Ew. We are going to take a break. Oh. We'll be back. Oh. Um, Finish what you're gonna say. That was it. No, that was it. What was it? Well, we have. I've updated un poco the um, intermission show. We're still working on music and stuff. Um, so it's it's a work in progress. But there are some new little bits of art, sea fartsy stuff in there. And if you are an artist and want your stuff to be submitted into the intermission show, come join our Discord and share it in our fan art channel. And you too can be featured on our intermission show. That's all I have. Enjoy we'll see you show. in like 16-ish 16 minutes. minutes. Go feed your cats. Goodbye. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Bards of New York. The live, chaotic, beautiful mess that we all know and love, where we usually, at one point, will play D&D together. We'll be starting to play D&D at some point soon, and then probably stop, then start again, and then stop, <laughs> and then giggle, and I'll fart a bunch, and then we'll have a good time. <laughs> Why even do the stream? <laughs> I, I, you're, you're hitting the nail too hard on the head, man. <laughs> Come for the D&D, but stay for the absolute chaos. That is Barcelona, New York. I love you.
I've makeshifted or found a leather glove. And Michael Jackson. Oh, <laughs> shut up. It's a moon. But I'm powered. <laughs> Instead of Misty Step, it's Moonwalk. No attacks of opportunity. Yeah, no, it's kind of Elvish boss because it's too like that. When you catch shield on yourself, it's not a shield. You just kind of like lean over like this much. <laughs> Also, there's the whole aspect of that miasma. Do you have an inhaler for that? Yeah, do you have a Oh, you beat me to it by <laughs> just one second. I mean, I, I used to, as a child, had some uh, asthma, but I've grown out of it since. Miasma. Yar. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, pirate ventilator, Ben. <laughs> Made out of wood, ah. I lost my albuterol. <laughs> Be <laughs> keeper, rescue inhaler in my hook. Ah, tis less effective than the old steroid. <laughs> <laughs>
it's always been you. To me, you have always been the brightest star. Been the most powerful star. I kiss her. couple that are harvest flavored they say it's more of a savory sweet almost like it has a very almost like umami sort of sense to it and it's uh, umami y'all <laughs> excellent work y'all excellent work it was ubiquitous and it made me upset <laughs> <laughs> i just wanted to buy pastries pentagonal 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 you'll be pentagon pentagonal pentagonal diagonally somebody called pentagon Pentagonally. <laughs> Pentagonagonally. Oh Pentagony. <laughs> what do you do? Smell burning toast? <laughs> Always. Pentagonal. Pentagussy. Pentades. So feeble. I, let's stop being so mean uh, to women. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It was, if I it was, support it you. was a really valiant uh, attempt. How, what, how many sides does that thing have? What's, say that again. Pentagonal. Pentagagal on these nuts. <laughs> <laughs>
So the mechanic where you make choices as your character that then affects the world at large. To me, there's no better version of that than D&D, where not only do you get to escape to a world and make choices within it as a character entirely your own, that then your own choices are a catalyst for an evolution of the world that evolves with you, but you get to do that with other people. So it's not just a pre-thought out, I'm gonna make these choices to make these things happen. It's a group of people all that you can have banter with and laugh with, but at the end of the day, you are exploring a world for the first time together as a group, making these little chaotic decisions which bloom across the world, causing it to change with you and grow with you as your characters level up and grow. What brings me back to D&D over and over and over again is like assisting in the growth and the blossoming of a world that will be cultivated by accident through a ragtag group of adventurers actions.
alive. Yeah, we're alive. Oh my god, it's Darth Sidious. All right. Oh so, my god. As the battle begins. I didn't realize that face huggers were uh, played by. <laughs> yes. Darth Farts. Yeah. Nemi. Nemi. Also, hello everyone. Welcome back. Hey, welcome everybody. Back. Welcome back to the bars in New York. I hope you had a nice poop. Darth nice bar. Yes. Very funny. Nice snack. Yes. We sat on the couch for a hot second and watched uh, one of uh, our wonderful friends, roommates, uh, ex roommate, and uh, current lo one of our current lovers. Um, well, no. Who knows who? Who's lover? <laughs> play some Destiny while we chatted. It was nice. And then I, I ate some more Doritos. I fed, I fed multiple cats. How many? Four? Three. Three. Who was more, who's the, which cat was the most grateful? <laughs> um, prob probably not. <laughs> Our neighbors. He's very lonely. Oh, oh He's like, meow. His name is Mr. Tibbs. Mr. Oh, Tibbs? Mr. Tibbs. Mm. Mr. Mr. Tibbs. He's a fucking gentleman. Oh. And he's right above us. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Tibbs. Meow. Hello. Hello. Um. So, that being said, as the camera pans back down to the nightmare crew on this nightmare ghost ship, Ryujin had just been attacked by an uh, illithidish face hugger. An illithid. An illithid. Oh, damn it. That's good. Drew? Thank you. Damn. Um, you were attacked by the illithid. Um oh Beginning the fight. So starting off on this fight, Ryujin, you with a natural 20, you have this and you feel a proboscis trying to force its way into your mouth hole. As it's trying to do that, I'm off the bat, dragon's breath, but instead of flames, it will be ice. Ice? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> cool. Because I don't want to burn my face. Fair, fair, fair. All right, roll me. So you freeze it. <laughs> yes, instead. Drew, you also just uh, found one of inspiration. Is it, oh, is it a dex save? What is it? Uh, it's a dex save, yes. Sorry. Dex save? Sorry, okay. Does it have ridiculous disadvantage? No. Nope. And or fail immediately? Let me look, let me look, let me look. Such um, sad music for this moment. Like um, what does it mean? <laughs> um, it is a uh, yeah, deck save. Sorry. Yeah, looking at his thing, he's just gonna do a deck save, and while he's attached to your mouth, um, or trying to attach to your mouth. So, uh, deck save. Disadvantage? Nope. Yeah. How? Um, uh, doesn't matter because he rolled a three, Good. making the total a six. A um, so, uh, it's going to take whatever um, damage. 8d6. 8d6. So as you, it kind of like starts to like get a, this like sense that you're gonna attack it, and tries to like kind of keep a hold of you, but get out of the way of the attack. Uh, but let's see how well he does it. With the damage, it will hit him, but how bad? Does this get max die? Because it's not 20. Oh no, that's not. No, not that's not. No, 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 not like that. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. We're good. Don't no worries. Me. 27, 29. 27, 29 points of damage, so it'll take 15 points of damage. It is resistant to cold damage. I get, oh, it's resistant? It's resistant I get to an cold. Extra, that's what it is. I get an extra... Uh, action. Action. Yeah, with an actual 20. Well, this time, I'll do it again. Another cold? Yeah, no, no this time it'll be... This time I'll burn my face. All right, you're, uh, you're going to do fire? Fire. Fire, all right, roll an attack, roll a deck save, I guess, on me again. Oh, yeah. Deck save. <laughs> Not much better. That is a eight total. Jesus, what the fuck was that? Oh. Uh, mouse. I'm scared. Um, so I'm assuming that does not win. It does not succeed, no. Okay. Uh, this time, 27. 27 you so with the eyes it kind of like it's in like you see a couple of its lit, like it's one of its tentacles kind of freeze and crack off and it kind of like trying to like reposition to like reattack into your mouth and you like and it's like turns to ash in the air um, and it's gone uh, however you all now start to see all the little mouths of the eggs all 13 others 
open up and you see little tadpoles crawling their way out. Um, it is. Ryujin, you have your movement left. And a, and a bonus and a action. Bonus. And a bonus action, yes. So I'm going to use my bonus action to bring out Aron. Okay. And then I'll use my movement to get on Aron. And then we're going to just slightly raise ourselves above the ground. All right. Raise me up. So a little hover, basically. Oh, yeah. Yep. A little cramped, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It. just yeah. yeah. I I know there wasn't like yeah. A basically, you're just like like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hovering above the ground, and that is it for me. All right. Um. It is the face hugger's turn. Um, and so we're going to have um. I'm gonna say. Um, each one within range is going to make an attack on all four of you. So, um, the first cling attack against FimFam, that is going to be a 18 to hit. That hits. Okay, it's going to cling to your face. Um, hug. Yeah. As in their name. Yeah, it's gonna hug your face, but also as it, as you see, it's this thing like fly through the air and hit you in the face. It's gonna do three points of bludgeoning damage. Um, and it's trying to get his little proboscis into your mouth. Ooh. Um, using that. Some some tendrils. Yep. Some, some yearning tendrils. Some yearning tendrils. So you have a face hugger on your face. It's that's turn. Now the next one's gonna go to you again. You Ryujin was gonna shoot up. Um, does a nineteen hit? No. Nope. Okay. It goes and it just kind of like, just it really close, but just barely misses your face. Um, what's your armor class now? 20. 20? Damn, all right. Oh, because you have the cloak yeah. too. Um, okay, for Leonidas, a face hugger, natural 20, bitch. Um, so that's it's the be, best hug of your life. No. So that's gonna be four plus. <laughs> I have nothing again. Uh, so eight points of bludgeoning damage on you. This one really hits you right in the face. You get a little bit of a bloody nose as it hits you in the face. It's Did it pass? Did it, you have a reaction and attack? Uh, no. Opportunity? Okay. No. Um, it's not like that. It, it moves too quickly to do okay. that uh, on its attack. And then finally, so it's you, you are clung. You are clung. Lilith. And 14 does not be your armor class. Nope. You dodge out of the way. So you two have face huggers. You two do not. And now we go to Lalath. La 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 you see Leonidas, not Leonidas with one on his face. And same thing with Fim Fam. I go over to Fim Fam's and I take my dagger and I stab the thing. You're stabbing it? Yeah. Okay. Um, roll attack. Be careful now. <laughs> There's a Fim Fam under there. Uh, I'm sure that Holy hits. Fuck. <laughs> 17 and 18. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Roll for damage. Okay, is it's? I mean, it's technically engaged with another person. Is this a sneak attack? I mean, um, yeah, yeah. I would say. Okay. I engaged oh, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> Hold on. I'm about to engage biblically with this. It's, you know. it's also not moving. <laughs> it's a big nose. Well, my... I mean, the proboscis inside is moving. How many hit points does it have? Because I'm about to roll 8d6 and 1d4. Uh, if you go above 30, let me know. Okay. The no, only thing you can movement is you. <laughs> hate it. <laughs> Actual hate. Uh, 31. Yeah, okay. Plus, you, plus whatever the extra bonuses are. You absolutely. Um, so as you stab this thing, it does kind of... <laughs> and like shrivels up. But as you stab it um, with the blade of broken mirrors, this it's uh, bright purple blood spews out, and it hits all over you. Um, you take five points of acid damage, um, and Lilith, you take eight points of acid damage because it's like directly you hit like an artery and it's spraying all over you, and its blood is acid. And you see as the blood hits the ground, those very similar pock marks appear on the ground as the acid burns through it. Their blood bit. is acid. Uh, it sloughs off your face, and it is a dead shrimpy on the ground. Ooh. Are you OK? Uh, I told us we should leave. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, All right, I you? would Let's like to uh, use my wells of the grave to do half damage to the other one on Leonidas's face. So 15? So what happens um, is, no, I have to re-roll it. Oh. Um, what happens is Lilith stabs <coughs> the uh, first Illithusi, okay? and then 
the dagger, like you've seen before, shoots out the other side and uh-huh. circles around, and you hear like a, <gasps> and it stabs into the other illithid. Mm. And there's like the pieces of the of the blade <laughs> shoot with it too. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. I love that. Yeah. So like basically, it's like little shards of razor glass shoot around and take out roll da- attack, right? Or nope. just straight damage. Mm-hmm. It hits. Mm-hmm. God damn. 15 points of damage. 15 points of damage? It takes 15 points of piercing damage? It's what, been a minute. Hold what on. What kind of damage is that? That's important. I need to know. I think it might I'll be keep... necrotic. Okay, if it is necrotic, that's fine. Tell me if it is the damage of the weapon or if it's necrotic, because that is important. Give me one second. We're sorry, gang. It's been a minute. It's definitely going to be necrotic. Been a minute. Yeah, it's, yeah. I, I'll, I'll keep the I'll keep the flavor of like keeping the shards in there, but I won't make Dan yeah. get covered in acid yet. Necrotic damage. Necrotic damage. Yep. Okay. Yep. So it kind of like, but it's still kind of like part of it's like part of it shrivels up and gets like these like kind of inky black veins on it, but it's uh, this big <laughs> black phallic looking thing is still attached to Leonidas's face. You realize what you just said? I know what I said. Okay. I said it on purpose. Um, with those big, big veins in it. Um, pulsing. Pulsing. All right, now we go, uh, end of your turn, Lilith, yeah? Yep. Okay, Leonidas, it is your turn. Uh, would, would, <laughs> uh, would I be able to like slice the back of it and have that be one of my attacks? You can try, yeah, you can try to attack it off of you, sure. And that could be Stop one of my nose. attacks? Oh, okay, great. Watch out uh, for your nose. I got a small snout. Punch yourself um, in the face. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going Do to. It. I'm going to Punch attack. Yourself. Hopefully more of them, but the first one and all of them with the whole. There's only one on you. Right, right, right. But yeah. the goal would be is if I can kill this one, then attack other ones as well. Yeah, if you have more attacks, you can go start cutting up at the eggs. What? Sure. Right. That's what I want. Okay. Uh, so you know the right? first attack. They will all be the whole. From my reckless and great weapon. Okay, first attack. Roll attack. That is not something I'm going to I gotta get out my man. Does a 27 hit? A 27 will hit. Roll for damage. Okay. So then it's. There's also the pressure from when he got burned in that fire. Yeah. Are you gonna do over 10 points of damage? Oh, yeah. Okay, then you're gonna destroy this thing on the first hit. Okay. Um, (laughs) So you go and you cut this thing. Does over 10, that's all you needed to get for the 15. Um, but it does, you do get that and all the acid sprays over you. Um, and it's everything within five feet of you. And from what I understand, I actually don't think, I think Ryujin was in the middle. So I'm gonna say nobody's, nobody else is within five feet of you, but you're gonna take 2d6 points of acid damage. As its blood squirts everywhere, you take eight points of acid damage as it's blood, this bright purple blood gets on your face. Yes. That's three of 14? That's three of 14, yes. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay, uh, next attack will be, what are you trying to do? Somebody's no, no, cast no, no, fireball. Dude, that's, no, I have, I Chad's have making me laugh right now. I'm, I'm yeah, waiting And I have these things prepared, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> All right, um, next attack will be against one of the eggs in front of okay, me. Okay, one of the mm-hmm. oval. Oval morph? Yep. Uh, that one definitely hits. And then last attack will be the other, another egg, or unless, because I... Uh, so think. first attack, roll for damage. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is <laughs> Nemi. Uh, 30. A 30? <laughs> um, 30 points of damage. You do 30 points of damage to the Illithusy. Uh, that destroys it. Um, however, it is, you're going to get, it, there's two things that happen. First, um, as you do a um, slashing damage on it, ooh, you are not within five feet of it because you have reach. So you're good. However, actually, as you're, you're good. Those so as you, arms. you see this blood and you're far, away enough, far enough away where it doesn't hit you. And also then as you cut through it, you see kind of wink, wink, wink. And all this bl- acid blood shoots all over and purpley kind of viscera, and that is one down. Do you have another attack? Yes, I do. Okay, roll an attack. Uh, does a 22 hit? A 22, weirdly, does hit. Right. So weird. Good weird. No. So strange. Looks like you're drinking apple juice. Basically, or piss. 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 
uh, uh, 28 points of damage. 28 points of damage. Uh, same thing. This one's also 10 feet away from you. I'll let you. So it blows up and it doesn't hurt anybody. Ah. So that's two more dead. Great. So you've killed five of 14. While I, um, I have the echo. Would we say the echo's still there? The echo's there, hypothetically, yeah. Okay. Because I never, you never dismissed it, and it's never right. gone with away further than thirty feet from no. me. No, it's ten minutes of time. Last right, ten but minutes. I would have, went the moment that I, the moment that I un, Avatar Echo it, it's then unlimited. It's not ten minutes anymore. It just has to be within thirty feet. Of okay. Me. So, um, well then, bonus action, I will. Where is the Echo? In relative. Um. Uh, the echo relative to you is going to be more towards Fim Fam. Okay. So you're kind of on one end, um, and then around you there's a few more on this side. That's where Fim Fam and Lilith are. And then Ryujin's up above you. Are there, are there, where's the majority of the eggs? Uh, in front of you. In front of me? Yeah. I'll, I'll bonus action teleport with the echo to have the echo be where I am, and I'll go. Okay. So you, and the echo is where most of the eggs are. Correct. Yep. Okay, is that the end of your turn? That is piss. Um, all right, <laughs> Fim Fam, your turn. I'll never get a uh, I won't like board. They're all, they're all so like funny. clumped, right? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Um, they all are kind of like in. There's like a kind of a, a cluster <laughs> towards the back of you and a cluster towards oh. the front of the ship. There's two clusters. Which cluster has more? Uh, the front cluster by where Le- um, Leonidas is. Okay. Um, or towards the 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 the, the um, bow I'm, of the ship. I'm gonna move away. <laughs> From the cluster that I'm next to, to okay. just get some distance. Okay. Um, but then I'm going to reach out and cast Shatter. Ooh. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna do so at fourth level. Now Shatter is an area of effect spell. Mm-hmm. Okay. What? Just ask him. It's ten foot radius. Ten foot radius, and you're casting it where? On them, so that they don't hit Leonidas. Yeah, yeah, but the shadow does not hit Leonidas. My, I guess my question: It's gonna hit the ship. Sure. I mean, I can't do anything about that. Okay. Yeah. Um, just wanted to make sure uh, you were aware. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, there's what's the? It does say a non-magical object can be damaged. It doesn't say like. I would say Shatter would work to just, like, hurt a ship pretty well. I would agree. Like, it is, it's not necessarily magical. There are magical elements to it, but the ship itself is not magical. Like, the wood of this, and now that you're in the steerage of the ship, is not magical by any means. So it will do damage to the ship, but who knows if it will open it up and... All right, that's 24. Your backpack's in the way of the light. Oh, so sorry. 24 points of... Thunder damage. 24 points of thunder damage. With 24 points of thunder damage, uh, all of these fuckers blow up. Just, they start all going. All of them? <laughs> all the ones that are over there. And then with that 24 points of um, thunder damage, with this ship, you see the bottom of it. And start falling out pieces of these eggs, these squished eggs, and like the, the leftover tadpoles are trying to crawl their way up, and they're getting sucked into the void of space, or the void of the void. Um, that is the, as uh, you guys kind of get a, a gentle wind pulling towards you. Um, we're gonna hit now to the, t- at the end of your turn? Nope, so I'm gonna, uh, bonus action, I'm going to inspire uh, Ryujin. Um, burn, baby, burn, kill those fucking eggs, yeah! Wow, that was, a, <laughs> like, yeah. a, that was like a little iTunes sound bite. How many are left? Um, so I would say the ones in front of Leonidas, the bigger um, cluster, they're all gonna, they've all been crushed. There may be some, but they're being sucked into the void of the void. Um, <laughs> void squared, if you will. Um, the ones by Fim Fam that he moved away from and by Lilith more specifically, those are where the, the rest of them are. And there's probably about, uh, I would say five left by now. Okay. Four or five. Oh, perfect. I have this too at the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can add to multiple things. Uh, attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Oh, sick. Is it my turn? Sorry, I just assumed. Yes. Whose turn is it? I think it's, it is your turn. Okay, yes. I didn't know if you had anything else yeah. to do is it, before that. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, oh, you're good. Go ahead, Is it my turn? Yes, it is your turn. 
I'm gonna then use use uh, Jutsu. Jutsu. Phoenix fire style <laughs> Phoenix fire Jutsu. Um, <laughs> so you cut home. Cheers. Um, um, so you'll see. Uh, I'm in a room full of weeds. Yeah, really. <laughs> Ten small fireballs. But can I do less than that? Can I just use yeah. five for each one of them? I'll allow it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so five is small. You just need to make a deck save. Um, but you just see Ryujin stand up on the uh, dragon. He does his. He leaves his hand signs, of course, because it's gonna be. It. It's gonna. What's the DC? Fifteen. It's half damage. Yes. They all fail. Okay. <clears throat> they have a minus five on their dexterity. Oh, okay. They're eggs. Perfect. You're you're killing eggs, babies. Good. Yeah, I'm surprised where you just not Good. like get yeah, a little surprised. twitchy. Yeah, the reason doesn't want to like. Just trying to insert it. They are into my they are illusion. <laughs> 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 just tried to insert itself into me. Uh, do I need to roll for each one? Uh, no, just roll damage. Just roll damage together. Roll. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Just, okay. Let's so make it easy. Yeah. You're gonna fuck these things up, probably. The 26 points of damn fire damage. They all, you just see, you're like, pop, 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 pop. They all pop. Acid is beginning to eat now. All the acid of all the dead eggs begin to eat through the hole. You see, feel the whole hole of the ship being a buckle underneath you. Um, can we still go deeper? No, this is this is the steerage, which is like the, okay. the, the bottom of the ship. Okay. There's nothing deeper. Um, I don't think anyone's alive on this ship. Doesn't seem to be the case. I say we do a quick searchy search for some more shit, and then we get the fuck off. Did we? Did we kill all of them? Yeah, they're all oh, dead. Okay, the okay. floor beneath you is crumbling. What do you do? I mean, we're in space, so it's okay. Oh yeah, we have the zoot suits on. Um, you, I'm assuming you guys pull yourselves up through the yeah, thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, that was lovely. Yeah, with the help of Leonidas's long arms, let's say you guys are all able to get up there. <laughs> I didn't need that. I'm riding a dragon. You, yeah, you get there fine, but <laughs> uppies. Yeah. Give me uppies. As you guys get the dragon, I get go. uppies. You <laughs> used my arms, didn't you? Have your own dragon. I used you? your arms on the way down. Could use them on the way up. And, and I and I uh, anyway. Didn't need it either way. I pull my. Thank I do a couple pull-ups and I pull <laughs> myself back. <laughs> Um, as you guys pull yourselves up, you see like the floor. As you finally pull yourselves up, the floor, and it's like floats out into the void, with all the dead little uh, illomorphs, illithuses, illikids, illikids floating in space, dead. Um, okay, so you found that. Now uh, you guys are back in the hold. Um, there is on the other side the other cargo bay, <laughs> um, and there's, there's more? and there's also more, kind of uh, deep uh, down to the like the front end of the ship. There's some more rooms. So, do you guys just want to do like a general investigation of all this part of the ship, or what were we feeling? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, let's start opening doors. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, well, let kicks open a door just to be cool. Except I'm being extra careful to. Look out for these eggs. Yeah, these these <laughs> obos. Yes. Um, these illikids. Illikids. Uh, so the other cargo room, uh, you don't find too much. You find some more bananas. Uh, bananas, tomato. Uh, also, you find some more false bottom boxes. And more, more it's another 24 blocks of spice. <gasps> Add it to the bag. Bricks of spice. So you have 48 bricks of spice as of now. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna be rich. Let's not get pulled over by the void police. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> what do you got in there? We are. Oh, uh, the nothing. <laughs> we true. don't have any spice for it. It's okay, we can hide the spice inside of Nergron. Uh, yeah. What if Nergron's a narc? <laughs> he's like, hey, officer, I have to tell you. He's a narc, he's gonna get shot. Oh, um, no, he's not a narc, but one of the bags gets kind of opened and, and like starts spilling out. Yeah. And while the cops are here, he slowly is getting more and more high, and he's like, he's like, <laughs> <"Why>? <laughs> Why? <laughs> um. Okay, so everybody just want a uh, forward investigation ship. In mm-hmm. Forward investigation checks of this ship. Um. So. Uh, I'll let you know, and that you can choose a room. T- uh, there is the captain's quarters. I'm very bad. There is uh, the shitter. 
that what you've written in your notes? Yeah, yeah. Um, the lockers. Uh, also, the uh, how, the bridge, like the captain's bridge, and what's that? The chart room. Are we going to all these places together? Or are um, these are the these are the last five rooms. So it's the shitter, some lockers, the captain's quarters, the chart room, and the bridge. I'll, I will go to the shitter. Oh, so my question is, are we honestly, if there was a split into two groups of two, or are we doing all these together? Like zoinks. I will say above table, I have a plus 15 to investigation. Oh. Which is maybe, why I'm, I'm okay with you. you, do it. you that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm okay happen. if we go with everyone. Cause that's then why don't close. you do it? Yeah. <laughs> so just do, a, just do a general for everything then. And I'll okay. let you guys know what you find. Use your and I'll roll with oh, advantage. Yeah. I, uh, that's a 30. A thir- it's a low um, 30. The ghosts knocked over my the empty C4. There are no ghosts. Or the in wind this from outside. Apartment. No, that it's, open it's, window. it's a ghost. Okay. Uh, there is a crystal in every window of this apartment. There are yeah, no there are no ghosts. Where's the crystal here? I don't see it. The Dreamy. crystal's right there next to your head. Dreamy, Leonidas oh, uh, t- takes time to investigate the shitter every day. <laughs> Dreamy on the chat said Leonidas me- might need time to investigate the shitter alone. No, it means I take lo- Leonidas takes long poops. The ones where your legs fall asleep. Why do you think it's taking so long? I mean, no one takes a long poop. I take a long poop. I, I mean, take you're long sitting poops. on the toilet for a long time. I take long Does poops. Does that mean you're pooping the entire time? I, uh, I, I will. I, I poop the entire time. I poop the entire time. <laughs> I've been there. I yeah. Mean, How long are you pooping? <laughs> well, so, no, may I, may I state my case? Sometimes I don't want to get a hemorrhoid. No, I, I never okay, want that's to get different. a hemorrhoid. I'm, not, I'm saying so, that no one's <laughs> actively shitting the Sometimes entire time they're sitting Sometimes on the toilet. It's, 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 it. it's not the activity <laughs> of shitting, but it's the it's the practice. <laughs> no, I, it's like meditation. I'm, I'm there with you. I sit on the toilet for a long time, and throughout the course of that time, I may drop a couple logs in the toilet. But the entire active hour that I'm sitting on the toilet. Uh, <laughs> an hour? I'm not sitting on the toilet for an hour. I'm sitting on the toilet for an hour. Look, let me live. I, I've been there too. Yeah. I've been times where I'm like, lost in I, like, I, like, I like pop open YouTube and I watch yeah. some Let's Play and I'm like, oh, fuck, I can't feel my legs. I'm like, yeah. oh, oh no, it's been like 45 it's minutes. Long. Yeah, literally. The chat like, has a lot time. to say <laughs> to us. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of hoop is coming out of me. No, I'm, I'm in the same way. I also and, because I wait too long to go too. And, so. and may I say, especially with some poops, like you got to factor in recovery time. True. Like sometimes <laughs> it just takes it out of your spirit. And hey, I saw Seal Team Six chat. Thank we'll you. get we'll get there. But I have to say this: sometimes okay, a poop is so that. intense <laughs> that it takes out your spirit. You kind of have to relax and like let your <laughs> let the let the Lord come back to you <laughs> after after such a big shit. Oh, with this. So, so um, I think <laughs> it's sorry, it won't let me. Uh, he maxed it out. You're not allowed to redeem these. So <laughs> oh, to dreamy! Anyway, so. Wait, wait, wait! Okay, more derailment. Dreamy, you've asked the perfect question. Oh. Dreamy asked, "Have you ever had to get naked during a poop?" Wait, wait, wait! Would you like me to, to tell this? Or yeah. What you... do you want to tell us? Oh, I get naked all the time when I poop. It's the so best way. So, Woody, ever since he was a little kid, has gotten fully undressed to poop. <laughs> You I take mean, your shirt off? Sometimes, yeah. Why? I mean, I'm an adult now. I don't do it always. But, like, if I'm like, hey, about to take a shower, and I'm like, ooh, I can, I can work out a poop. <laughs> okay, if you're about to take a shower, That's fine. different. That's different. No, but, but when I was have a kid, you, have and you... still sometimes where I'm like, I'm like hot, or like, I'm just yeah. like uncomfortable, I get, I like, I sit down on the toilet, I'm like, or like, I'm about to say, I'm like, nah. I can Everything get comes off. Everything but one goes time, like, ah. my parents were really, really, like, worried about this, because they were like, because... When he was a little kid, he couldn't like really figure out how to put his clothes on the right way, <laughs> and so they were working with him to be better at it. And we were on a plane somewhere, <laughs> and he had to go to the bathroom. And my parents were like, "Do you need us to come with you?" And Woody goes, "No, no, no, I got." It. I was like a kid. I was like, like five. a little kid. And then he goes, he comes back, and he's like so proud. He's put his clothes on, and then my parents look, and his clothes are inside out. <laughs> hey. Got it done. Yeah, yeah. Got it done. You got the clothes back on. Hey, just, hey, you hey. Know. We got him. We got him. All right. Seal team um, six. Yes. Well, thank you for that poop yeah. derailment. <laughs> was it my fault? I don't know. I think it was all of our okay. faults. <laughs> I don't even know how we, we got we'll there. Take, we'll take collective what was responsibility happening? for this. We were playing D&D. We were, yeah, we were investigating. You rolled. <laughs> yes, um, I rolled a 30. A 30. So, in the captain's quarters, um, you have... Uh, charts, kind of like plans, and also the captain's log, so to okay. speak. Okay. Um, 
if you want to investigate that further, I'll just kind of give you like the lowdown. A lot of it's just like basic sailing through the void, uh, about to make a delivery. This is not the vibe of music I want right now. This is so a very haunted house, haunted haunted mansion. Yeah, um, this this music, this new music I've brought in is very like haunted man mansiony vibe. Um, we love spooky season. Yeah, it's 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 October. Mm -hmm. Spooky sounds. Uh, this entire season involves fucking the elephant. Yeah. This is spooky. Um, yes. So, as you're kind of going through all of the notes in the captain's log, uh, it talks about uh, actually taking the um, sand shipment. And it talks the the fine sands. Um, and they are meant for a... Let me look at my notes. Sorry, sorry five seconds. Let me get back to the, <coughs> my notes. Um... Uh, that's going to be for a, uh, it just says the name Andrew. Andrew? Or Andrew? More, it's pronounced Andrew. Um, A-N-D-R-U. A-N-D-R-U? <laughs> that sounds very, um, <laughs> French. It is. Um, it just says, uh, uh, it's the, uh, fine sands for Andrew. Fine sands for Andrew. Mm -hmm. um, and they were paid uh, half up front, and you do in this find a little lock box with a, with it's locked, but it's a it's you assume there's some payment in there. Andrew de Lyon. Okay, um, Lilith will put that in the bag of holding. <laughs> um, How much? Oh, it's just a... It's just the lockbox with lock box payment. With yep. Thanks, you, Drew. You put the lockbox in there with the, with everything in it. Hell yeah. Um, and I've made a note of that. Something tells me that's related to some of the other stuff we've learned. Um, next room? Yep. You move on to the next room. It's the shitter. Uh, 31. 31. It's the shitter. <laughs> Do I find anything no. I might like in there? Uh, there's some nice, like, graffiti on the walls of, like, a guy wrote this story about how... Toy Story 2 is just okay? Uh, no. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's, that's shocking shock words. Fire. No, have you ever... That's, like, a pretty common graffiti that's in bathrooms. Toy Story 3. No. Uh, Let me tell you, Toy Story 3, that movie is sad. Toy Story 2 is the superior Toy Story. Toy Story 3. Um, Go watch Toy Story 3 again. Anyway, it's good, but it's not Toy Story 2. Um, it's, like sure. it's like Shrek 3 is good, but it's not Shrek 2. You Shrek 2 is the best You Shrek. can't compare Shrek 2 to Shrek 3 in the same way that you can compare Toy Story 3 to just Toy Story 2. Is, Toy Story 3 is was nominated. This what we're choosing to talk Still about. Toy Story, 3, Toy Story 3 was nominated for Best Doc Picture in the Oscars. Just Still the yeah, you're right, you're right. Oscars mean nothing. Still Team solid. Six. Oscars do white. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're we're moving past the shitter. I just saw your message, Nemi. That's funny as fuck. Uh, I think yes. Uh, so uh, <laughs> next room. What's eighteen plus fifteen? Thirty. Uh, Thirty-three. Thirty-three. That's the next room. Yeah, Thirty-three. That's the, next um, that's, the that's the that's the the lockers in the lockers you find uh, there's some guns some like rifles. Oh. Um, <laughs> it is like the weapons where um, most of them actually it's there's only one gun left in there just a, a simple rifle, um, flintlock kind of rifle looking thing. Flintlock wood. Flintlock wood. Um, I'll take it. Right at a at a um Who was a musket. That? Were you just Whose fucking voice was that? Um, <laughs> add a musket to your inventory. Uh, <laughs> but pretty like uh, just and some grappling hooks, nothing crazy. Um, right. Looks like any like like the weapon blocker if they to defend themselves, and it looks like it's been used for the most part. And take a grappling hook. Okay, you have a grappling hook in your inventory. Is it like a or like a? It's a. Okay. You could probably rig it, and you have that wonderful person named Recknit in your party who could probably help you rig it, but... I'm gonna throw it. Yeah. yeah. Re Recknit is a known Recknit. rigger. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that guy. He's... <laughs> is somebody yelling out of the window? He's the worst. Um... <laughs> Last room? 
Last room. Last room is the bridge, or the, the there's a chart room in the bridge, which are connected. I rolled a little lower. This one is a 25. Not good enough. <laughs> a little um, lower. In the chart room, uh, you find that this one came from the um, the uh, Hell system. H E L um, is the system it came from. This the ship. Yes. And it is charted to head towards Brawl, and it was slated to arrive a week ago. Oh. About a week ago. Okay. The musket does more damage than what. So I guess we can use this okay. um, this information as a point of contact for whoever was expecting this shipment of apparently a bunch of illithid eggs. Maybe we should talk to these people and, and kind of... Interrogate. I don't think the shipment was the elephant eggs. I think they were attacked by the elephants. The shipment was the spice. Or maybe both. It's a lot of eggs. <laughs> I think perhaps. That is a lot of eggs. Based on the the notes in Tylo Vale's journal that I've liberated from him, and the stuff on the ship, my guess is they were smuggling drugs and exotic. Animals. Mm. Um, in the in anywhere, is there a place where we can view like the security cameras? Uh, that would be CCTV? the spell jamming helm. Which, as you, I'm going to fast forward. In the bridge, you see <laughs> the spell jamming helm and the captain uh, deceased on the helm, and the, but the helm is still half activated. The captain is a um, hobgoblin, uh, red skin. Uh, has a, a very, like, uh, Tom Selleck mustache. Uh, actually, looks like Tom Selleck, but with pointy ears and red skin. Hmm. Um, even has jean shorts on. Is this an alternate world in which uh, Tom Selleck plays the Hobgoblin from the Spider-Man universe? No. I see how your brain got there. No. I love you. <laughs> I just, I just no-butted you. I'm sorry. Uh, it, hi, yeah. Sh- he brought up Spider Man. No, but like, <laughs> fair. Yeah, it, I mean, if the Hobgoblin doesn't. A hob- no, it's like this is an actual Hobgoblin. Yeah, and D and D Hobgoblins are different. They're not. They're not crazy rich billionaires who have like fucked up their brains. Wasn't the Hobgoblin? And use pumpkin bombs and pumpkin bombs. Well, is it, isn't the Hobgoblin normally his son? Well, it's his... Isn't it normally Harry? Yeah, but also Harry is also a billionaire, you know? Yeah, that's true. Or is it? Is it sometimes Harry? It's it's Harry. I try to see if I can get the uh, security Harry. footage yeah. Yeah. from uh, the helm. Roll me a intelligence saving Jesus. throw as you try to so enter into the helm. Where did you go? Know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I heard Hobgoblin. Can somebody else do this? I'm not very good with these kinds of... What things. are you doing? Intelligence saving throw to try to oh. get into the helm. Oh, oh, let oh, me yeah, do that. that. Unless, region, I don't know what your... No, your intelligence is probably higher than mine. Intelligence saving throw. I don't want to go down that much. Um, that's a 17. 17? Um, with a 17, you, you, the, a lot of the, um, the HUD of the footage is corrupted. Mm. Um, this ship has been, list, like, just astray to the elements of the solar winds and everything for a week and so a lot it's been damaged um however you are able to get a, a number of it um yes can the footage be removed from the ship um corrupted it can, footage can always be fixed it, 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 as, you as could try posture check. can i try i'll allow a trying but i'll tell you what you guys have right now um so as you're kind of like looking at it in this footage you see the ship uh, has a report of like an impact and then has a quick video from the feed from the helm. And you see that actually in this helm, you see that the glass on the view on the sides of it um, have been shattered and like a uh, safety mechanism has covered them up with this like translucent uh, material. And you see things flying in through the glass, shattering and attacking the captain and the rest of the crew. Um, so like an actual attack on the ship after taking an impact from something. Okay. Um, so there really was Illithid that came and and then shat out a bunch of eggs as it left. Or maybe they came to get them. 
Or maybe they came to get them, but then they left them. But they took the people. Oh, yeah. On the ship. There aren't any people here, are there? There's no. one person left. There's just one. Oh! The hobgoblin. Very awkward. <laughs> the hobgo- the captain. Can I love I, you, Rachel. Can I try and take the footage from it? You can try. Uh, roll me an intelligence, uh, just an intelligence check. No way. No, it wasn't a d20. Oh. I mean, a natural 20. It was a 19, but... Um, oh, I'm casual. Gonna inspiration, yeah. and I'm going to use the chat inspiration as well. Oh, you have chat inspiration yeah. too? Oh, I do as well. I just have you have two, two, Dan. I have two. Yeah. Uh, Great success. Great success. Uh, you can roll it. The Bardic Inspiration die can be rolled again, and you can get to choose which one. Uh, wow. What? Enhanced Bardic Inspiration. Yeah, I forgot that that's what Mode of potential. Do. Perfect. Okay. Jesus. 36. Uh, 36. You were able to remove uh, from the Spell Jamming Helm the footage. Like the like the hard drive, if you will, um, <laughs> repairing it, it. But you have the entirety of it. So Repairing it's a whole other well, thing, we'll but you have that in your inventory. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure Reknik can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Techno shit. All right. Well, this has been awful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a lot of drugs. We did. We're gonna be Which I am, sure. I am worried that when we eventually end up in Brawl, that this Nidoran Cross person may be looking for their drugs. But they don't have to know we have them. Or we can deliver it to them and ask them for a favor. That is That's also true. true. Or Andrew. 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 We can find them as well. Maybe, maybe these people can help us find a way to get to Ember's soul as well. Perhaps. With, by negotiating with these drugs, so. I mean, we did just save all their lives. Not like they know, but. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one knows all, how much we've saved them. No. <laughs> no, that's just... This is a thankless job. Okay. <sighs> well, I say we get back on the, um, the dinghy jammer <laughs> and go back to the <laughs> ship. <laughs> I live to watch Fim Fam just Sperm. crumble. <laughs> just what? Crumble. Oh no, there's that sound again. Oh Jesus um, Christ. As you guys are heading up, you hear this alarm coming from the dinghy. Uh, Can we turn it off? As yeah, you head over to the ship, uh, you look at what the noti- like the notification of what the alarm is, and it's a proximity alarm, specifically for this one. Something's showing up? Something is about to drop out of void space real close to you. Um, back to the ship. Back to the ship. Back to the ship. Back to the ship. Okay. You guys, roll me a vehicle check, see how you can get there. You turn it off. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was this, dexterity? Uh, dexterity, yes. 22. 22, as you kind of and come over to the ship, you hear Nergron come in on the PA system through what you're the, little, the little dinghy, um, and you hear, Yar, seems like we have a bit of a uh, unwelcome visitor come dropping out. Uh, how would you like me to prep the ship? Get ready to hop back into void space. Are you calculating the next step into the brawl? And, and shields up. Off. And sh- uh, uh, shield, yeah. <laughs> Do we have that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We just have an armor armor class. You have an armor class. I think we did Shield. talk about how yeah. uh, you could change things to like Nergon will like grow to create like a canopy oh, of a true. shield. So um, Nergon's gonna start doing that as you guys. Like Star Trek. Oh, sure. no, your forward shields. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Um, no. 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 I'm not there. I, 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 I just didn't you. know if we had them. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Nergon's like, hey, yeah, yeah, I can yeah. do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were all on the same page, yeah. just didn't know if that page was possible. possible. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so as you guys get to the ship, you load on. Nergron, you see as the uh, the dinghy comes to the side, it's almost like an outrigger almost now, because like, like the vines will grow out and attach to it and create a little gangplank to get over. Uh-huh. Um, That's cool. Uh, and uh, right as you're on the ship, you see a... Zoom, 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 four large ships. Come out of void speed. 
Are they squishy um, ships? Hmm? Are they squishy ships? They're not squishy ships. On these ships, you see that they kind of have these um, almost tusk-like frames. Um, and these large masts. On this, and you see standing a large creature uh, wearing this like resplendent red uniform. And you hear in like a megaphone thaumaturgy voice. By order of the... Someone's ordering us? Interesting. Uh, in by order from the order of Saint Tear, I authorize you to shut down your ship and prepare for boarding. Why? Mm -mm. No, you, no, they no. can't hear you. You see uh, these um, four sh these four ships. Uh, each one called it's Tier One, Two, Three, and Four. Um, it's a T Y R. Um, and you see under each one, as they kind of come closer to you, begin to come closer, under the name of the ship is their motto, the void never, never sleeps, so neither do we. You just met all the cops. Oh, yeah, shit. No. Let's get out of here. Yeah. That's are what we're going to end. People? Are they hippo people? Most of them are hippo people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, that's where we're going to end tonight's session, right there. Uh. Perfect. All right, hey everybody! At thank you so much for watching, and for the raiders who are still with us, if you are, thank you for coming in, enjoying us. Um, Nemi, great to see you. Michaela, great to see you. Dreamy, great to see you. Um, and please, Winter we'll, Cameron, Winter, Winter Cameron, welcome Winter. to the Twitchverse. Welcome to the, welcome to the Twitchverse, yes. everybody. So great to see you, and everybody listening at home through podcast, um, in, not Instagram, uh, <laughs> YouTube. Through. Or otherwise, wherever else we're on, by the time you're listening to this, um, maybe literally like vir in virtual reality in front of you. We're gonna be on the moon, motherfucker! Yeah, send us to the moon! Um, thanks so much for listening, and uh, we will see you all next week for when the camera begins to roll again on the Ballad of the Nightmare Crew. Dan, hit us to who we're raiding today, big man with the thick, thick cock. <laughs> Also, come join our Discord if you want to hang out with us in the middle of the week. Like yeah. and subscribe yeah. us on YouTube, 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 YouTube. Not my tube. YouTube. 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 And we will see you on Monday, and hopefully we'll have one of the champions. Who knows? Who knows? Unless the rats kill. Unless the rats eat John. <laughs> Which? Bye. We got. Okay.